Welcome back. We are doing all signs of Aries to Pisces. Keep in mind if it is not your story, acknowledge and move on. Check your other placements, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus, Venus, Venus. Okay, so just an example of anybody, for anybody that hasn't been here before. We do four elements in one. So you have the chance of getting four. Yes, four. Yes, four. Readings in one. We will do fire signs, air signs, water signs, and earth last. Not because least. No, 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 no. Because that's the order I have chosen to go in and my brain can work this way. Um, if I take a card and say blockage, I will take the card and actually pick it up and flip it. So if you see me flipping a card and, and you don't understand, that is why I'm doing that. Um, you will see your sign up here. Cross watch as you want. Everything will be timestamped below. Okay, so anybody that's interested in the dad story starts now. If you don't want to hear the dad story, go ahead and just hit your timestamp for your sign. The dad story. He, he It's relentless. The White Devil Mencio. Two nights ago, I was binge watching because I had a headache that would not go away. So binge watching uh, Virgin River. I've gotten hooked on this and I'm like, can't get off this. Oh, they lovers jack and yeah. So I'm binge watching and I've got my door open this much because Noah, when he's sleeping, um, I have a monitor, a baby monitor, uh, because he has had a history of seizures so I am you know one of those anal retentive mothers and I have to know what the hell my kid's doing even though he's going to be 26 on Earth Day no less gotta like that one so I I'm watching the monitor but I'm also seeing my father through the door being cracked this far he's not sleeping good okay so I'm watching Wade waddle out go waddles go and the next morning he said or I should say 4 30 in the morning when I finally come down for some coffee he says well, if you're going to have a party and invite people over, at least you could let me know. And you had that rap crap going. And I'm like, what? Well, you had a party last night. What? No, actually, I did not. Yeah, and you had that rap crap playing. And you did, 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 did. And he's trying to say, and I'm like, uh, you know, I do not think Flo Rida was here checking out my apple bottom jeans. And my, no, really not. So he was convinced that we were, I'm like, did you, uh, no, he actually saw people going, going in and out of my room. And I'm like, maybe you should call your doctor and talk to them about lowering your medication a little bit. If you're actually hallucinating, I'm starting to wonder, kind of makes me scratch my head. Right now we are actively in the process of trying to get his mouth to clot. Because if you're not going to brush your teeth and floss every day, maybe you should just be careful when you're flossing or stop doing it. You know, like... Mm -hmm. especially if you're on a blood thinner because what happens I think you are following the program here now you're with me so he proceeds to um, he keeps saying it's his tongue you know he can't find the reason for blood and I'm like I just watched you floss your teeth and if you do not brush your teeth constantly and actually keep up on flossing what is going to happen is your gums bleed and you're on a blood thinner so your mouth's going to keep going and going and going now it's like he's been finger painting blood all over his shirt and I got the bleach out and he is just something every day it is exciting there is never a dull moment but yeah floor rider was here I'm like apple bottom jeans boots with the fur I um I just upset because he didn't get invited to the party and I'm having a party i'm like well hell i didn't even know i had a party i must have passed out all right let, I, I guess things could be worse not couldn't they absolutely yes so we're gonna time stamp here and on we go okay aries so we are using the monopoly deck for your overall energy you guys got the wheel of fortune reversed the eight of cups reversed and the seven of cups upright so your overall is energy is telling me that there could have been a recent or you're kind of in the middle of a recent unexpected setback wheel of fortune reverse needing to get closure possibly or that things have fallen into the same old type of patterns where things aren't working so well this can be a lot of different obstacles but it can be that it's just you're facing facing un unfortunate events that didn't turn out the way that you had wanted to and you kind of you're kind of carrying some past baggage so feeling upset kind of grieving a loss there is possibly having a little bit re regret but with the seven of cups here that is definitely saying that there's a lot of confusion kind of wondering what to do what's the next step 
not really enjoying this crab or um, unsure or confused about somebody. It also can be that your options for singles, that there's more options out there, but it's like, where the hell's my person? You know, I'm feeling like I'm not getting anywhere. I've been uh, rejected in the past. So that's kind of an overview of what we got. So let's jump in. If you are dealing with another Aries, Leo or Sagittarius, the Fool, Arian Energy, the Nine of Swords. One more. Okay. All right. So your energy here basically is telling me that you want somebody to get motivated. It's like this person could be slacking. Where's where is this going? Knight of Pentacles reversed is really not not knowing what to expect from somebody thinking they're kind of all over the map, possibly got some emotional ADD D D D D going on, or that this person's kind of like not giving you any time. I mean, that is their actions, kind of sitting there, I'm taking a break. It also can be somebody that's overworked, but in their mind, they're all kind of like, go for it. They're kind of worried though. Why the Nine of Swords? Okay. I mean, they're very hopeful. This just seems kind of trivial, like, do you have enough time for me? Because on the bottom of the deck, you got the Nine of Cups. It does look like there's interest here. I would like you to take me out. I'd like to, you know, ooh, you're in a bit of a hurry, getting a little bit, getting a little bit hot under the collar there, Aries. Just a little bit, just a little bit. I'm an Aries, so I get it. And then with the cut of the deck, you got this on reverse. So it's like a little bit of disappointment in wanting this to get somewhere, but getting it off the ground. Okay. Now this also can be somebody that wants to come back and have a second opportunity with you. And they feel like they're fumbling all over the place and you aren't going to talk to them. So they're just kind of staying quiet. But this person is hoping but stressed out that they might not get their wish or that you might not keep your promises they're definitely all up in their head ab about you but they're too stressed out to do anything and it can be work related all right gemini libra aquarius six of wands i want your attention oh high priestess ten of cups all right so are you playing hard to get with this person Kind of looks that way. I mean, they, they have really good intense intentions. They might uh, be wondering if you're in another connection. Because what also wants to come out that's at the bottom here, you got the Nine of Cups and the Ten of Swords reversed. If this person's not over you, they're acknowledging that the two of you, there's been like no talking, that you've held back. You got a Ten here, a Ten here, and a Ten here. That's like end of the line. I would like this to work out. I would like to put the work into this, but I'm not knowing if Aries interested. Are you giving somebody the cold shoulder, playing hard to get? I'm avoiding you. I don't want to talk to you. It makes it kind of difficult if you're going to kind of hold back. So this can be that you're you're uh, you're pulling back and using your gut instincts, or you feel like this person has secrets, but they're definitely getting the vibes that you don't want to give them any attention. Their action, I would say that they're going to try to reach out because they want the abundance here. They want to try to see things work. They want there to be some balance. We're going to put those two back in the deck. And I, I do. They, they are thinking that they should come in and talk to you or try to get your attention. It might just feel like this person's like, I, I adore you. I have hope here. Um, you're so confident, but you just kind of leave me clueless. I don't really know what the hell to do. I want your attention in the worst way. All right, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces, Seven of Wands, okay, ooh, Eight of Swords, Nine of Wands, yeah, you better bow, you better bow, okay, so this person in their mind right now, they're kind of very, actually, defensive, they're like, I ain't taking this crap, I just feel like I can't go anywhere, I feel it, like, ooh, they want to move, though. They want to make this move. So in their mind, it's like you're holding back the progress and they're all stuck in their head. They feel like things aren't moving, not going anywhere, or they can't see that it's actually going to happen. They need to be more patient. And they might feel like they've been patient and you've been kind of giving them the the slip. You know, like, I'm not interested. I don't want to talk to you. You're, they get the nine of wands here. They're like, I'm working so hard to try to get your attention, but you're kind of giving me just the opposite. Like they see you as somebody that could be smothering, jealous, unfaithful, emotionally cold, but they're not getting their needs met by you. Oh, a little demanding, are they? That else can be somebody that's codependent and they're worried. What is the actual blockage? Because I'm nosy. 
the Hanged Man, and the Knight of Wands. Okay, right off the bat, we take the blockage and flip it like I had mentioned. You got the Hangman reversed, and that is somebody that can be going. I'm always watching, you know, people and how they're viewing me. Does this person have, an, like, an ego where they're not narcissistic, but possibly those tendencies of being a show-off and not getting your attention is kind of irking the hell out of them? But why do they need to care about what other people think? Because the Hangman is is out viewed for everybody to see, and they do not, when it's reversed, want to sacrifice and it's like, what, you're losing your reputation of being a player here? That's really seriously. So one more for, for what are they going to do? They could have an apology coming your direction, but they um, they definitely are stressed about this. And they do. They're like, I'm not tolerating this. And you're just being defensive. And you're the one that's holding back progress here. But this per could, person could be needing to actually apologize come your direction. Because this is like there needs to be balance here. This person is in balance. And they sure the, sure the hell don't see that you're open to this either. It's like, you're not nurturing this. But... What am I going to do about it? You guys are being stubborn. That's what I'm getting here. All right. Taurus, Virgo, and Capricorn. Three of Cups. The Queen of Bitchiness. And the Five of Coin. Well, so they're going to do nothing and sit there with their finger up their nose. Ah, no, they're going to wait. This person might feel like you are kind of giving them the, I don't want to talk to you. Uh, you gave me the slip. But they're like, there's... You're not responding. This person could have ghosted you. Could have had a... Mm, don't like that. And now they're going to put the moves on this. Okay, so to clarify, I want to try to work things out. If you're single, this is I want your damn attention. Especially if you're single with the Emperor at the bottom of the deck. That can be somebody that's got all four attributes of each element. That should be meeting somebody fairly soon. If you're even interested, because the Four of Cups underneath of that would tell me that it's like, eh, yeah, uh, uh. But they're like, it would just, you know, rock my boat if you would give me the attention. Let me take you over some drinky treats. A lot of, and they're like, you're just so avoiding me, and you're so not open to. You got a cold front. It's like you're hard to please, and this person's just kind of assuming that you're going to continue being that way, or that you have Jekyll and Hyde syndrome. Sometimes you feel like a nut and sometimes you don't. You don't want the drama. You got the five of wands reversed. I do not need the drama here. I'm kind of done with it. Drama, drama, nitpicking. Unsure of where you stand and you're kind of going, I don't I don't need the drama. I'm just doing other things. And this could be that you're looking at a, a new beginning with somebody else, but you're more preoccupied with something else and this person ain't liking it. If they ghosted you... This is somebody that's playing flirty, flirty with somebody else and treated you like a option, obviously. With the, I go back and forth. You're kind of bitchy, whatever. What is the blockage if it's somebody from the past? All right. They decided to go a different direction. They decided they had closure, but that doesn't seem like they really had anything to offer in the first place. Rejected. Okay. Like they weren't getting any benefits from you, so it wasn't really worth it. Well, up their ass. Up their cornhole. Oh, my. All right. So, let's see what we have for majors. Taurus, Leo, Scorpio, Aquarius. Libra, Taurus. Sagittarius. Pisces. Cancer, heavily. Pisces, Cancer. A lot of water. Aquarius. And Aries. All right. So with the overall energy here, it does seem like you might be kind of going, I don't really know where the hell I stand with people and things aren't going real well, but it looks like you're kind of shutting down to, to a lot of people. Like you're kind of dragging your feet and not knowing exactly what you want or possibly still in that feeling like you're rejected from somebody and feeling like you're all over, all over the place or things are really all up in the area, not knowing what direction you're going. All right, Aries, that's what we have for you. Now we go. Tauruses, okay, you have the overall energy of the five of coins reversed, the chariot upright, and the king of wands. Now, you could actually be in, or somebody else, in an actual move because the five of pentacles reversed can indicate a move. But it is also 
a possible return or because it's in your energy that's your energy up here that did you change your mind about somebody desire to try again with somebody because this would be basically like i'm trying to get somebody's attention i want to move forward i want to see where it's like i want to get what i want so are you trying to beckon somebody back in the five of coins reverse there's still possibly burdens and hoops that need to be jumped and dodged and rearranged but there is still a i want and i have determination and i'm going to push this forward and I'm very confident about what you want a lot of willpower up for a challenge can also be a little 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 bit possessive about somebody but if you hadn't been talking to somebody or had been ghosted it looks like this person unblocks you and that would open up communication and that's basically it's like i need to have my say okay so it's like i want to be heard let's see what we get okay you probably hear the waterworks in the background so i keep telling dad it's like i'm telling a five-year-old get your finger out of your cake hole and it will stop bleeding like until i think i had to tell my kids that less get your finger out of there quit touching that come here jeffrey jeffrey sit down it's like a bill cosby thing going on all right so this is the joker deck because i know i've got a taurus that likes to know that is the monopoly deck which you can get online and the joker deck was on amazon it is gilded very nicely all right if you're dealing with an aries leo or sagittarius seven of swords reversed huh very interesting the magician reversed well we don't like that so much and then the four of cups okay so this is somebody that's sitting there with their basically get your finger out of their finger up their nose not doing anything it's like poor me wah wah in their mind you don't want to talk to them you don't want to deal with them you think that they are not wanting to to communicate at all but this person might have or been thinking about somebody else it could be that this person is they think about confessing and wanting to talk to you come clean with you but at the same time they got to get their balls up so are they gonna inflate their nads and speak it's like we person speak have they been deceptive it's bullshit and stupidity now they need to inflate their nads why do they need to inflate okay okay because that is somebody that's like we can still nurture this we can still make this grow i really think the world of you but you got the hangman reverse just like aries did so it's like why does this person need to worry about what other people are gonna think well everybody knows you told everybody this and you told everybody that oh yeah i guess i think i did too hmm you got judgment here at the bottom of the deck you're kind of going really all right why the four of cups for action ten of pentacles in the page of cups this is somebody that does want to reach out but they might feel like you're going to turn your head i don't want to see you i don't want to hear from you i don't want nothing from you all right so what is the blockage ten of swords and the eight of cups this person might feel like they want to come back around eight of cups reverse eight of cups is the picture of the the woman or man doesn't really I haven't really ever checked out if there was a gender on that. But they're they're showing this person walking away. Like the two of you have walked away from each other and now they want to reconnect. But it's like I don't feel like you're over the past and that you you are carrying baggage and that you don't feel that this person's gonna they don't think that you're gonna give them the time of day. So they're grieving over the loss, still pining, they have some major regrets. But they're they're holding back it's like if i come to taurus because i'm not over them i don't feel like the two of us should be done but are they willing to make any changes and that could have been that they walked away for other people yes but your energy says you owe me an apology oh look at slash knight of cups And the Hierophant. Okay, so you want them to be possibly just more romantic and more committed. I mean, it's just that simple. But yes, you owe me an apology. I want you to do the right thing for once. Do you even value me? You know, it's like, I need to feel valued. You definitely need to feel valued. It's like, I'm going to have things my way. And they're going, oh, God. 
Uh, it, it does seem like this person cares. What, why do they need to care what other people think? Well, if I come clean with Taurus, then everybody's going to know that I'm an asshole. Pretty much. Yeah, kind of like that. And you're kind of going, hey, you know, it wasn't me that did this crap. If you want this to work, you're going to have to put the work into it because I'm not starting this up. I'm willing to, to try, but I'm not starting this up. You're going to have to do it. Does it look like you would be happy if this person came back around? Yes. You got the Nine of Cups. Have you been wishing for this person to come back and try to make things work? Because the Eight of Coins is definitely a, I'm, I'm very decisive. I'm very focused. I would like to see this connection grow. But you have got to put the work into it or it's going to be too late. And the love would be the last thing on your mind. I mean, it's just like end of the road. Enough of this crap. Don't want to deal with it. All right. Gemini Libra Aquarius. Five of Swords reversed. Queen of Swords reversed. Oy. And the three of them. Okay. Why the Queen of Bitchiness? Knight of Pentacles. Okay, so in this person's feelings, they feel like you are not open to emotions at all. They are thinking about coming your direction and talking and actually making a change, but they're kind of sitting on the fence about it. It's like, if I try to come your way, are you going to even believe what I say? Because the, the, the Five of Swords, when upright, can be somebody that is full of crap. That they contradict their stories, that they're cruel, that they walk away, that they uh, play head games. It can be aggressive and unclear and can be very challenging. It's a very, but I'm going to change. They are thinking about changing their wicked ways. Are they going to do it? Because right now they feel like you are really pissed off at them and they're taking their time. It's like they're going slow as molasses. And what they want, I don't know, guys. This is either somebody that wants to try to make things work, but they're coming in like the, the fucking hot, hot dog, baby. I want you away. What is that? I mean, it doesn't look like it's going to change your mind. You got the sword up going, yo, bitter, a little bit salty here. What's the blockage? The chariot. Uh-huh. Did they go the wrong way with their do by diddy? I mean, just generally speaking. We got the Ace of Wands reversed. This could have been somebody that decided that playing around somewhere else was fun, but uh, I couldn't make up my mind. That's called a coward, a lost person with no, fork, no, no focus. It's like there's a fork in the road. There's two different directions they could go. They should be um, going one direction, but it's just like they give up. The, the arrogance and... I need to look just so, and I need to have, okay, and sex can be like the last thing on your mind with this person as well, but it's like, there, this could be like, there's always so much bullshit going on that the last thing I'm thinking about is screwing because it's not stable. So are you, is there sexual issues going on and this person decided to go a different direction because you were basically a buzzkill and now they think that they can be, oh, party, party. Hey, we're hanging out. Uh-huh. As somebody that can be a little on the vain side and in and out of your life. And it's like, hey, yo, I know you. I know you. I know. Appearances seem to be a big deal. I'm nosy. The outcome, six of wands. See, there's the attention again. I need to have attention. But the six of wands does say then that that's your energy plopping out there. Plopping out there. I would like to make this person confess their emotions and come clean with me and, and, you know, adore me and give me the attention that I deserve so that I can be confident about this connection. So expect there to be some talking. All right. Source. Cancer, Scorpio, and Pisces. The Queen of Coin. The Wheel of Fortune. Oh, I like the hamster on the wheel there. Ha, 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 ha. All right. Very serious. Why so serious? Page of sore. Okay, this person's nervous, but trying to, they're trying to play it off. It's like, I know I have to meet Taurus's expectations. They feel like this is, they feel like things are going to progress. Like there's going to be some changes moving forward. That something lucky will happen between the two of you. They definitely have feelings for you. You got the Queen of Cups there. 
I mean, that's interesting. I feel that I could fall in love with you or I feel that I do love you, but am I meeting your expectations? And I mean, they might be acting kind of cold and callous and standoffish, but deep down they're nervous, big time nervous on the inside. So it's blockage. Permit. And the Seven of Cups. It seems like this person got uh, determined that once the icing was off the cake, that they kind of wanted to hermit in their little manhole, girl hole. And then that makes you feel what? Not supported, not connected to this person. Like the communication lacks because they get in the loner type ignoring and blocking and deflecting. And it makes you feel lonely. It's like I'm being left out. I mean, it's like, okay. They know it's like you have expectations. They might feel like you really need more love and affection than they can give. And that's somebody that is nervous about what would happen between the two of you. But this is somebody that wants to message. They could be a little bit sensing or feeling like you're jealous and that you're kind of watching them. Well, yeah, I want to know what the hell's going on here. What are they going to is One more for what they're going to do. Because the King of Swords in the page doesn't really give me much. Four of Wands. Well, that would say, bottom of the deck, if you hold back a little bit, because you got the two of swords reversed right here, a choice will be made. And with strength here, it seems like you're kind of holding your own going, it's it's going to be you that bends, not me anymore. I'm going to control. I will. I have a very strong opinion about this, but um, I will influence you to tell you that I, I will be compassionate, but you've got to be the one that comes out of your damn hole. This does look like a, a trying again, though. I have feelings for you and strength. It's like I'm, I'm just there's there's passion. There's but you see the sloth hanging from the tree. You're kind of going, yeah, you you got to come my direction. I do feel like this with the four of wands here. That can be freedom too. So is this person actually going to come out of the hermit mode, make a move because it does look like they have feelings for you, but they kind of got to get that where the two of you gel and share. There's got to be some more compromise going on. All right. Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, Eight of Coins, Two of Pentacles, all right, and the Ace of Swords, ooh, they really like clarity, why the Ace, Eight of Pentacles, Three of Wands, all right, they're, they're in limbo right now, they're kind of waiting, they miss you, they anticipate, they, they're looking forward to, but they're not really doing anything yet. It's like I'm anxiously awaiting um, possibly that you might be uh, dealing with other people, but this person's very preoccupied thinking about what's going to happen. They're kind of, they're feeling the two of coins. Now that could be that they're feeling like you have other options and they, they just might feel like you're going to drop them. They might feel like you're trying to get over them and, you know, accept this as a loss. And But they, they just are kind of going back and forth. I don't feel like they've completely given up yet or lost interest, but they're kind of getting to that point where it's like this has gone back and forth long enough. Their action at the Ace of Swords, that's bold. I want to talk. And the world. And this is going to be a make it or break it thing. All right, your energy says, all right, yeah, well, we can talk, but I'm not changing my mind on what I've done in the Ten of Wands. It's like, I feel like you're having a hell of a time. You feel like you've been kind of blocked out, cut out a lot of tension here with the Four of Swords at the bottom of the deck. And the Two of Swords here reversed is basically like the damage is kind of done already. I'm nosy. What was the clarified blockage? You don't want any more drama. You don't know where you stand with this person, with the Queen of Wands. That's not a good blockage to have. No bad judgment with the Queen of Ho-Hos. This can be somebody that you don't know that can be unfaithful. Yeah, they could have screwed around. But they can definitely hurt people by their actions and their words. And it's all conceited. It's all about me. Shallow crap and then judgment reversed is somebody that just falls into old patterns of being an idiot you know they do things that that they shouldn't be doing they turn away from the truth they're guilty they're worried they don't have an apology but they're coming in saying we're going to have this discussion and then we're both separating and going our own ways or or we're gonna it's like make it or break it they're, they're in that state of let, let's get on with the show here because 
They do have the idea that the two of you could work things out, but they might be thinking that you are holding back because it's two of pentacles. I mean, that two of pentacles with the four of coin, I give up on this shit if it's always going to be a fucking chore. That two can be that they feel you're too busy for them or that you're undecided or whatever, but they're kind of like, I'm on eggshells. This is constantly what to do with you. They don't know what the hell to do with you. They want some clarity. So they could be overwhelmed by choice or the decision with you. So they're kind of mulling it over. I don't feel like they're doing squat. Talking, yes. It's just a matter of what do they have to say? Because with that world energy, it's like that's a big change. It's like getting closure, but getting answers, demanding answers. All right. So we have Taurus, Leo, Scorpio, Aquarius. Virgo. Boy, I can't shut up today, can I? No. Mm -mm, it's going to be a long one. Cancer, very heavily. Scorpio. Taurus, heavily. Libra, Taurus, Pisces, Cancer. What else signs are in there? All right, Tauruses, that's what we have for you. And now we go... Gemini, okay, we are using the Monopoly deck. I know that I've got one Gemini out there that likes to know the deck that we're using. So this is the Monopoly deck. Your overall energy, you have the Knight of Wands, the Star, very nice Aquarian energy, and then the Two of Cups. Now, this is looking like hoping. <coughs> Excuse me. Having expectations. Now, this can be um, something that's at a distance at first, but still is a attainable goal but it's yearning it's optimism it's like everything being out in the open being realistic wanting something hoping for something having potential also can be renewed faith in a connection now with the knight of wands there it does look like you're in a little bit of a hurry to kind of get things going it's like hurry up i don't have time to wait because as it says there the messenger of act first think later but that can be just that you're excited about somebody it's a lot of messaging, texting, it's lusty, it's intense passion and smooth kissing. and But it, it's not necessarily future-based. It's kind of like being in the moment, okay? So are you trying to speed things up with somebody or wanting somebody to come back? Because the Two of Cups is pretty self-explanatory. That would be wanting and hoping that somebody has the same emotions as you. Hoping wanting but the two is a reciprocated feeling it's not one it's so it's fantasizing about a love connection it can be new it can be that you're having a uh, the fairy tale ideal mate type thing in your head if you're single um and it can be uh trying to think about a reconciliation if somebody still has feelings for you okay i've oh, got i got like babble going on today um, we're going to beat the, the devil mentia. The white devil mentia has made his bathroom look like a crime scene with his bleeding. What would, what would, um, what would it tell you? Uh, pop, pop quiz. Yeah, yeah, that. If your mouth is bleeding, should you drink hot coffee or ice water to slow down the bleeding? Do, 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 do. Yep, pretty much. All right, so we are going to jump in with if you are dealing with an Aries, Leo, or Sagittarius. All right, we got the Empress reversed. All right, the Devil upright. Ooh. And that, no, screw this shit. No, thank you. So this person's got some sassy ideas about you. Definitely has yearning and burning going on in their groin. But they don't want to actually put any work into it. This is like a fucking run. I don't like this. Why the thoughts of the Empress reversed? Four of no, this is not somebody that wants to nurture a connection. Why the action of the Queen of Pentacles reversed? It can be a financial user too. Oh boy. See, I just feel like this person's kind of in limbo right now. If you're single, you got this person coming towards you, they might not technically be divorced or separated yet. Just be careful because it's like uh, they have no intentions of making this go anywhere. The three reverse, it's like you can't count on them. Not, doesn't feel like the connection is going to be not workable and not on the same page at all. What is their damage? What's their damage? They're still in love with who? It ain't you. 
And they're in a, they're just, they got a lot of fucking steam to blow off. They're just looking for one thing. How do you see this person? All right, you got death. They got to make up their mind. So if this person's at a crossroads and they're, they're saying they're in a, a disconnection, that they've already done that, they have, but they haven't really decided what direction they're going in. So can this have potential? Yes, but is it starting with a friend with benefit type thing? Yeah. So it's like, uh, it's more sexual than romantic. It's, a, it's that fork in the road. So it's at early stages, but this person's not intending to settle down. They're not intending anything decent. If that's your ex, they're looking at going to a different direction for a piece of ass. Just saying. Gemini Libra Aquarius. Nine, I'm sorry, yes, nine of pentacles. Nine of Wands and the Knight of Wands reversed. I don't like their action. Their action sucks ass. Why that? No. Be careful with this one because it's like, again, the feeling of, I wander away from the long distance connection. We don't like that shit. Why the Nine of Wands? Six of Pentacles. They're, they're all wound up that you might be expecting too much from them. In their mind, they're single. This is an asshole. They got their own set of rules, the blockage. They've already made up their mind before you would even talk to them. Yeah, this person's going to be a little bit on the... Don't drag it out with this person because you're not going to get anywhere. You, you just won't. If they feel attacked, they'll start acting vain and needy. They won't take any risks. They don't like jealousy and they don't like to be intimidated. This, this would be somebody that doesn't... Mm -mm. How do you feel towards this person? The Emperor, don't do that. Okay. It, I mean, it's almost like it's pulling fucking teeth to get this person to actually put more work into it. So, again, it's feeling like uh, you would, this is new, you know. The Emperor, for somebody single, is supposed to be like, wow, hey, great. But this person, it's like pulling teeth to try to get this person to actually pay attention to the what what's going on in front of them. It's like, come here, 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 pay attention. They're all over the place, but they want their independence. No, no, no. That's kind of player energy. All right. I don't like that shit. Cancer Scorpio Pisces. Three of Raz. The two of Coin. One more. Ooh, the lovers. Well, I can say that's kind of borderline because I'm yearning, I'm burning, I'm looking forward to you. Can't wait. Mm, so they have definite thoughts of moving things forward with you. But this person, as far as they're feeling, one more for that two of pentacles. Because this tells me that this person's feeling like kind of keeping to themselves that they might have another opportunity. I think you're well aware of it. You got the page of swords. So you're out playing spy, checking this person out online, whatever. They have to make up their mind. Their action is the lovers. One more. but not ready to, not ready, they want, oh, look at that, nope, they want their freedom too, what the hell, you guys got player bullshit going on here, it's coming out of your damn ears, they stay, they feel like it's better off staying in than actually making a choice, they're waiting till, what, hell freezes over, because this is not somebody that is going to be sticking around for a long-term connection, you can't rely on them, the four of wands reverse, this person could feel triggered, not stable mentally, physically, or emotionally, or they just don't feel the same way about love that you do. This is the homewrecker reverse bullshit. Likely outcome. No, I don't think you're going to be interested in this shit. They could be in a pity party right now, and they could be on the outs with somebody else. In other words, you'd be on the outside of their home playing footsie with them and possibly not even know it. So what are they really waiting for? Are they really waiting? What are they really waiting for? Oh, well, that would be uh, to be forgiven. So not good again. What the hell here? Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. New story source. Really, seriously. Okay, five of swords reversed. Five of cups. Real. Okay, a lot of a feeling of an apology or coming back around and some regret and... A lot of thinking, possibly some thinking, drinking. 
The star isn't really doing much, though. Why the star? No, ooh, but that would be justice. I'm taking accountability for my actions. I'm taking accountability for the things that I've done, the things that I have said. I'm hoping and in my mind, I have the expectation that you're going to possibly forgive. So that is somebody that has a strong character. Did they learn a lesson possibly? It sure the hell looks like it. Why the five of swords reversed? They had secrets and it looks like they came out because the five of swords reversed is like, okay, everything's all in the air. We already know what you did. This can be somebody that's calling for a truce. They have been doing shit behind your back. Now they have an apology. They need to bite their tongue and use some common sense. Mm, like control their mouth. And it does seem... Hey, Ruby, come on in by mama. It does seem like there's been um, sexual issues or this person really turned you the hell off because they're feeling like you are kind of pushing them away. Like you don't want to deal with it. Like you lost interest in them and that they just... Mm -mm. Clarify the blockage. Third-party bullshit. We don't like that. Now they want to start over. Bottom of the deck. This would tell me that you want that, but you're afraid of it happening again. This looks like third-party happy horse shit to me. With the blockage being the Three of Cups, we then reverse it, and we put the Ace of Pentacles upright next to it. That's somebody that wants to refresh the foundation, make things more tangible. It could be some fuck-up flowers coming your way, and you're going, okay, so you're coming back, but the baggage comes with you, attention, ho. What do you really want? I need somebody that I can rely on and know what to expect from and depend upon. But it does, I mean, their intentions and their actions are for real. This is like making promises and therefore not breaking them. This would be a longer-term connection. You got a lot of player bullshit. What do we have for singles generally? Who? All right. We have Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, and Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, intentions. All right. You might be familiar with somebody that kind of stonewalls you and comes off as kind of pissy. This is somebody that needs to take things really slow. They don't want any drama. So if you're single, it does look like you're a little bit more curious than this person is. They might be somebody... Mm, my mouth is getting so dry. Let me take a sip of coffee. Because mine is iced coffee. Hello, that would work better now, wouldn't it? This person, it looks like they kind of have a, a, a hard shell on the outside. So if you're thinking about somebody that you are just friends with or that you've dated in the past... This is somebody that does not want, they know what they want to know where they stand. This is somebody that goes, they're a straight shooter. We like that. It does look like you're interested with the page at the bottom. Okay. And then that's not being treated like any option. Ooh, high expectations. We like that. We like that. And then you have the fool with a cut. So it's like, hey, let's hang out. It's a new beginning. The possibilities are, are endless. Let's take this to some adventure. Let's take a chance. Let's go for it. But do expect some resting bitch face with this person, singles. All right. And heavy fire, heavy air for you. So we have Aquarius at the top. All right. Libra, Aquarius. We mentioned Pisces, Cancer. And you might have told somebody to fuck off already. Gemini, you're in here. Taurus, a Virgo. Leo. Hi, Smiley. <laughs> hey, if he gets the giggles on here, everybody will laugh. All right, Aries. Scorpio. Libra, Taurus, and Capricorn. That's what we have for you, my jimmies, and on we go. Crabby Pates, I have to share with you the pop quiz because it's starting to get on my nerves. So, if your mouth is bleeding and you are in blood thinner, should you drink hot coffee or iced coffee or ice water? What will warm temperatures do with blood, especially if I'm a blood thinner? That I'm dumb. All right, we're using the Monopoly deck. Some people like to know what deck we're using for your overall energy. So, your general energy, you have the Ten of Pentacles, the Five of Pentacles reversed, and the Three of Pentacles, which is 
semi sort of nice. I mean, it does look like you're, you're trying. It's like, I want to be happy. I want to be satisfied. I want to be comfortable. But this can be wanting to try to have a truce with somebody that you had not been talking to, possibly had a ghosting situation or somebody that kind of bailed and walked out. But the three of pentacles would say, I would like to try to work things out. Is that what you're looking to try to do? But it's like, this feels like things can get better. The connection has a common interest. It's like you feel like you could possibly work through these obstacles if the other person does the same. I want to be happy again. I mean, that 10 is a beautiful card of comfort and feeling at ease and being successful with the one. We are going to use the Joker deck very well, uh, what do they call that, gilded. It's just, it hasn't rubbed off, and I've been using this for two years now. So if anybody wanted to know the name of the deck that we are using, it is the Joker deck. All right, so let's jump in and see what we have. Dealing with an Aries, Leo, or Sagittarius. All right. Temperance reversed. The star reverse. Well, this is a negative person. Doggy downer. Holy crap. All right. So the five of swords reverse would tell me that this person actually might have an apology. This is somebody that wants to be back on their perch again. In other words, I, I think I can meet your expectations. Now, you got a lot of earth energy up here. Taurus, Leo, Scorp or Taurus Virgo, and Capricorn. But this is, you got a heavy... Sagittarian energy for this person's thoughts. So they might be feeling like you're making things out to be bigger than they actually need to be. Or that the two of you, they're frustrated. They, they feel like things have gotten out of, out of hand. They might have felt like you were kind of nagging them about uh, feeling neglected. But with the star here, as far as they're feeling, they don't really have much faith right now. So they're kind of disappointed with what's happened. Why the star for feelings reversed? Yeah, this is somebody that is not happy that you don't have any faith in them and that things have been broken off, but they could have. I mean, when you get the five of swords reversed, that means initially this person had lied, had said some really crappy things to you, was a real son of a bitch, was deceitful. All right, so you yeah, the blockage is the four of wands. One more on the blockage. Did they, I hate to say it, but did they step out of this connection and play footsie with somebody else? The two of pentacles reversed, yes, can be preoccupied with another person, but it's like, okay, what do you want, person? What do you want? It's like, oh, I'm so overwhelmed with the choices that I have. Make up your damn mind. Like that bit off more than they could chew. Are you interested in this person? Or are you interested in another option? Because the four of wands reverse is definitely not somebody that is going to be stable mentally, physically, emotionally, whatever. Something is not the same between the two of you. And it lacks the stability that it once had. I mean, you could call this the home record card when it's reversed. How do you see this person? Lovers reverse. You fool. You fool. You bitter, stupid asshole. All right. You know that they're toxic. Now, this would be that this person has very um, player-like ways. So I got to put it that way because it's like they made a bad decision. They made a bad investment with the lovers reversed here. Whoops. So a little codependent possibly needing attention from other people. You got trust issues here now. Betrayal. Dishonest. Six of Pentacles, it's like, uh, yeah, you could be thinking about a little bit of payback. It's like, let me tell you what you do deserve. It's uh, feeling like it's not worth the time. Unreciprocated, how could they do this? We were, you know, I, I'm working, they're working, and they've made this a weak connection. Not fair. Bullshit. Can be a Capricorn, but the devil here would tell me that this person's been naughty. Mm -hmm. And you think that they're full of shit? That they're gaslighting you, that they're talking, uh, you know, that they can always talk the talk or they could have addiction issues. And that can be with messing around here. But um, you, they're, they're coming in with, a, I'm going to meet your expectations. I know I haven't in the past, possibly an apology, but it feels like with temperance reversed, this person really, they think that things get blown way out of proportion. It's like, well, I'm sorry. Did you stick your Twinkie in a ding dong or not? I mean, what, what the hell is the truth here? Bottom of the deck, you have judgment reversed. I don't feel like you're buying their bullshit. You you hide behind an ugly mask, and this is not what I want. I've woken up. I've taken a turn point, and I do not trust you or believe you. 
Hey, hey. Gemini Libra Aquarius. Page of Pentacles reversed. Her thoughts. Feelings. We got the Knight of Swords and action. Ten of Cups. All right. One page of Pentacles reversed. Hey, man. Okay. This person might not think. They might be a little on the nerdy side. Just saying. Like they, they stumble all over the words. But this is somebody that they feel very, very driven to get your attention. <coughs> yes, my son is in here. Six of Swords. It's almost like they're gonna they're gonna dash in, give it uh like give it all they got, but they feel like you're gonna reject them. That they're they're feeling like you are gonna say not interested. I feel like this person's got an ego issue where they just don't feel like they're, you're gonna be interested. However, uh, you got the Knight of Wands at the bottom of the deck. You're kind of like, bring it. Come here, come here, 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 here. It's like there's a, a chemistry with your nerdy person. You know, they're just different um, than the standard player. You don't want a player. It's like, I want somebody that comes in and parks their damn horse and sticks around. But, the, I mean, you're being a little bit standoffish to this person. Your energy would tell me that you're kind of playing hard to get and you're making it very difficult for this person. All right. You don't want any drama, and you got the Ten of Swords reversed. So are you still holding on to something from the past, and therefore you have this new person that's interested, and you don't trust anybody or anything right now because of the past? It's got you confused. So you, are you even aware of this person? With the Seven of Cups, I would think that you feel that things are all up in the air, possibly with somebody else that's caused you to not know where the hell you stand. Um, but their intentions are damn good. The Ten of Cups would be like, I'm going to take you out. I want to get to know you a little bit. And they, they, they got it in their head that they got to make like one big play. And then they might just go into hiding for a while because they're kind of a candy ass. So if it's somebody that you actually have some interest in, be nice, be gentle, be fair, give them a chance because that could actually go somewhere. And this would be the type of person that might be boring to date, but you would know what to expect from them. And they'd probably surprise you in the sack. Just saying. What's underneath of that? Because I'm nosy. What's underneath of Oh. And freaking honest as hell. Ace of Swords and Ace of Wands. Really good in bed. Really honest. It could be happening a lot quicker than you think. But this person, would you'd know what to expect from them. They're like on the right path. They take things slow, which would probably be better for you if you're holding on to the past. But it does feel like this person's got the idea that you aren't gonna, you aren't gonna be interested in them because you're holding on to shit from the past, and they might care what other people think. All right, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces, thoughts, feelings, and action. Knight of Cups. Here comes an apology from somebody that wants the possession of you back. You are my possession. You are my pride and joy, and. I can't stop thinking about you and the way that we were together. Hi, Priestess. Oh, but you could be playing how to get. I mean, they've got, they see um, their, their feelings and say, I don't know what the hell to do. Krabby Patties are really seductive, but they're keeping things a little bit aloof. So it's like, damn, now they have to kind of go with their gut feeling because they feel like they want to try to work things out with you. They want to possibly come in with a, hi, I'm sorry, guess what, I'm an idiot. What's the blockage? Seven of Wands and the King of Swords. So we take those two and we flip it. Remember I said blockage, we flip. This person might give up too damn easily. easily. They might feel like they've lost the battle before even trying. <coughs> in insecure. It's like this person might feel like they let their guard down and you walked all over them. They could be the one that did the manipulating and walked all over you. But there's definitely the feeling of deception, possible manipulation, kind of, mm, I hate saying narcissistic tendencies. We'll go with that. But that's that's definitely blocking emotionally and just going, screw it. So did they walk away and give up too easily? Six of Wands. You're like, you want my attention? I don't know if I'm interested in this shit anymore. Seven Pentacles. I will have to think about it. I'll get back to you. Meanwhile, back at the Bat Cave. This just looks like this person's... It's like you know. You know that they want your attention. You know that they want to plow through this problem. But you're kind of giving them the... Huh, yeah, I don't, I don't really know. Four of Cups is kind of like... 
I don't even see this. I, I don't even want to see this. You, you need to like back way off because I'm not happy. I'm a little on the bitter side right now and I don't feel it with you anymore. I'm just like a mm, little apathetic about it. But the Seven of Pentacles would be kind of like sitting on the fence going, hmm, now what? So it does feel like if they come in, they definitely have no idea what your thoughts are going to be. But I would say that they're coming in with a potential apology. All right. Bottom of the deck, we have the Ace of Swords again. So you want the truth. It's like I will not settle for anything but Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. Four of Pentacles reversed, Queen of Wands reversed. Knight of Wands. Well, we don't like this at all. So their thoughts, I don't like that. They think you're cheap, sleazy, and easy. Woo, a fucking easy target. Oh, my God. They already know what they're going to do before they even come your direction. They're like, okay. They're, they're the kind of player that comes off real slow. No hurry. But if they're seeing you, it's like, oh, you're, you're hot to trot. And, you know, you get your way, but you look kind of like, you, you know, I don't know wrong from right. I'm going to end up hurting you. Whoops, I'm shallow. I mean, really? In their thoughts, you're easy? Uh, an easy target? Ugh. What is their damage? What is their damage? Nine of Pentacles. They want to keep their freedom. They're superficial. They're an ass. King of Cups reversed. They're not emotionally invested in anybody or anything right now. <coughs> Excuse me. So this can be somebody that's just looking for another notch in their belt. Because with the King of Cups reversed, it would say, I'm not looking for love. I'm looking for things in all the wrong places and finding it where I can. But their actions, the Knight of Wands, I feel like they're going to dart in and dart out. Do not be an easy target. They're going to dart in and then they're going to ignore you. No, oh, it's like a fucking run. Don't do that. You see that? I'm coming in. I'm getting my way. And then I go back to my bat cave. No, no, you don't get just go back to the bat cave because you, you know, I'm a bachelor. I'm a bachelorette. I'm not looking for anything right now. Maybe you should be more honest at the f damn start. Uh, people. People suck. Sometimes that's like, why couldn't there be like a third in between so that if you didn't like men or women, you'd pick a different whatever. Virgo. Had to be just two, seriously. Majors. Pisces Cancer. Too much coffee, what can I say? Pisces. Not a Scorpio. Sagittarius Aquarius. Capricorn. Gemini. And then up top, a lot of earth. All right, my crabby patties. That is very confusing, but a lot of player crap and things that doesn't seem like what you're going to be wanting right now. On we go. La 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 Leos. All right, we are using the Monopoly deck for your overall energy. You guys have some very nice energy, I must say. King of Wands, Queen of Pentacles, and the Three of Cups. This is looking like you're being very patient, being a little bit like a, not in any rush, trying to get somebody's attention, just to kind of enjoying the uh, surroundings, but you're interested in somebody sexually. I definitely want that. I want some of that, but I have to go about it in the right way. Slow and steady, having some patience, wanting to nurture something, being responsible, kind of making this person that you're interested in and feel like... Um, they can know what to expect from you. But the Three of Cups is like out, a party, a date, uh, let's hang out, but high expectations. It's like I'm not settling for less than. The deck we're using for you, we got the Three of Pentacles. It's like, again, the feeling of Earth is definitely just mundane and kind of going with the flow. This is like I'm in no hurry. This can work. I'm, I'm definitely interested to see where things can go with somebody. And willing to just kind of let it build up slowly which the sexual energy can also build up slowly so let's see what we got if you are dealing with another leo aries or sag source all right Ooh. <laughs> 
Very nice. Okay, one more. Oh, there's that King of Wands. This is somebody that's going to chase your ass, but in their mind, the High Priestess, you might be playing a little bit seducing and aloofy and hard to get. Like, you're you're really giving them the the run for their money type thing. They're all up in their head about getting your attention. As far as feelings, they're all, they're on pins and needles about this. You really have this person way in the dark about what the hell to expect. How do you see them? Oh, there it is. Slow and steady wins the race. So you would like to see this go somewhere, but it does look like you're kind of holding back a little bit. It's like making them work for it. I kind of like that. So if this is somebody from the past, what's the blockage? Oh, not so good. That could have been somebody that didn't know what the hell they want. And you're going, okay, you know, you got a lot of making up to do. A lot of making up to do. It's like, I'm not just going to hand you the keys to the castle anymore. It ain't working that way. The two of pentacles when it is reversed is somebody, and that's reversed because we said, what is the blockage? Make up your damn mind. What do you What do you want? They bit off more than they could chew. They were interested in another person. They left you kind of wondering, and now it's their turn to sit there and wonder. Now you're going, hmm, maybe, maybe not. And I, I got to get back to you on that. I mean, it's that, that kind of feeling. Now it's like, you really got to put, put a lot of work into things. You have a lot of making up to do. But it still would be, we can spend time together, but you need to give more of yourself. You need to be truthful. You need to be whatever. It's like we aren't going Dutch treat. They, they could have acted like they were um, a little bit above you type feeling because when we see the original six of pentacles there he's it's like a handout i'm giving to you you're like uh, i'm only giving so much but i'll tell you what you're not getting with the ace of wands reversed right now nothing in no zipper staying up i'm gonna put an aspirin between my knees you are not getting any until i say go and you mean it Woo, you mean it Hello, love her. but making them work for it, and they are definitely nervous. It's like they're trying to come off. They're they're gonna chase you. I mean, that's looking what you like, what you want. It's like you can take me out. You can spend money on me. You can get some fuck up flowers, but you know you got a lot of making up to do. All right, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, the Sun. Ooh, the Seven of Coins. Oh. If you're single, this is go for it central. One more for thoughts. They think that you are well-to-do, well-balanced, well-everything. They think that you're honest and that you have a decent character. And this is somebody that it's like, I'm, I'm looking for an honest person. And God dang it, I found it. This is somebody that sees you for who you truly are. Heavy Libra. And then for feelings, they're kind of sitting on the now what? Ooh, they want your ass in the worst way. So taking steps to get to know you. But with the Seven of Pentacles, it's a very nice indication that they want to slowly work on things. And you're all about that. It's like I'm itching for change. Where can this go? So they're evaluating the situation. They want to... See if you feel the same way about them that they feel about you. So let's see what you think of them. Mm, a new beginning, a new chapter. Yeah, I, it's worth it. So it's like, bring it on. All the messaging. You guys have really nice energy. I mean, look at that. It's like, this is a new beginning. I'm taking a turn and here comes something really sexy. But with temperance, it's like Netflix, chill, spend some time together. Um, where this person might be feisty and spunky, you, well, that would be more you. This person would be a little bit more on the, um, low key and mellow side where you're more extroverted. They'd be more introverted. It would be like two people that kind of weigh each other out, like opposites attract. And the page of cups waits. It's like, come ask me out dates. Take me out. See where things can go. I would say you're definitely open to it. And they're finding what they are looking for in you. That looks really neat. If it's an X. Oh. So, if it's an X, this person, I mean, devil reverse. They need to drop something 
they need to give up something to be more reliable. It's like the addictions or over drinking or gaslighting or um, possibly just that they get tempted by somebody else and then they manipulate situations and then they feel uh, they put you in a trapped position because they're corrupt or overindulging in things and they need to be able to live up to expectations. Are you going to trust them? Because it does look you're not, you're not over this person. But I will be appreciated. I will be treated like the goddess on the mountaintop. This is definitely saying I'm not over you, but you're going to respect my ass. So Because that's very similar energy to the Queen of Pentacles. Alrighty, heavy Libra. Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces. Eeny, meeny, miny, mo. So, okay. Why? I mean, this person doesn't want to hold back. They don't want to wait. But they're getting sick of waiting. One more for what they're going to do. They're going to sit there with their finger up their cornhole and wait. Is this a sad sack that doesn't show you any respect and doesn't know how to nurture a connection and just in for the fling? This also could have been that there was a third party. I hate to say it, but it's there. You got too many people up here to begin with for what's the blockage? Knight of Wands. I'm in, I'm out, I'm all about, just like you're a fucking slinky. And the Empress reversed. Now, we just talked about nurturing and growth and all these wonderful things. This could be a cold, uh, codependent. My needs come before yours, and um, I get off before you get off and make you feel jealous, and they're not faithful, possibly, and they might not like to be smothered. It can be somebody that does the smothering, like they have issues not trusting, but they can't stop thinking about you. If you're single, this is somebody that's just kind of sitting there. I do feel like you have a history with them. They could be comparing you to somebody else, and that's why they're just sitting there. But if you're single, this is like, go for it. So, if single, all right, learning more about each other. Learning more about each other. We're not going to say you're going to get married to this person next week. It's not logical. But the Hierophant is all about learning and traditions. So do you have different morals than I do? Do you have different interest as far as religion or i'm more spiritual it's that kind of energy it's like um th i've got faith that this could go somewhere but i'm not willing to give as far as this you know it's like value and fairness and what things should be good behavior following fucking rules all right it does look like you would be emotionally open if you're single taurus virgo capricorn I'm coming back around. I'm going to work really hard. I'm not preoccupied anymore. Five of Cups, please forgive me. Oh, we don't like the black edge. No. I mean, nothing like, like getting caught with your fucking pants down. Seven of Swords reversed and the Queen of Wands reversed. This is my, uh, I'm paying attention to other people. I'm a whole card. I'm shallow. I don't really care what's right and wrong. Um, I'm hurting myself by hurting others. And oh well, because this is like, I got busted. I got caught with my pants down and now I got to come clean. Boy, this sucks. But this is somebody that thinks about coming back around. They're bringing the baggage with them. Mm, yeah, the black edge is not good. That, that's definitely, okay. You're like, I am not tolerating any more of this shit. I need to think about this first. So, it does look like you have feelings for this person. And then that three of coin ended up on the bottom again. So, make them wait and put the work into it. Can this work out? Yes. Can you forgive though? Because boy, you're kind of going, did you learn a lesson, moron? You need to think. So you're going to kind of pull back. You're not in any hurry. You're looking for answers. It's like you need to answer the Spanish Inquisition before we're going to go there again. I need to think. Do you see the fucking light? I will not tolerate any more crap anymore. But it does seem like somebody that thought that grass was greener on the other side of the fence. And they found concrete. And now they're coming back at you. So wanting your attention. They got some butt kissing to do. Some fuck up flowers to buy. Virgo. Taurus, 
Libra, Taurus, Pisces, Leo, 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 Capricorn, Sagittarius, Taurus, Leo, Scorpio, Aquarius with the world, Gemini, Libra, very heavy, Leo, 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 Leo. I try not to date another Aries because I'm an Aries, so I'm fire, but oh, I try not to date another fire sign. Holy shit, can that be? It's like, ooh, it's hot in the sack, but man, otherwise, watch out. Also, Pisces Cancer. So, who are you leaving in the dark and playing hard to get with? That also can be a secret crush that's maybe a little bit inappropriate, like a boss or somebody that you work with, a work connection. All right, my Leos, that's the way for you, and on we go. Virgos, okay, you have the overall energy of the moon upright, seven of wands upright, and the knight of cups. If you are single, let's just say that there could be a very intense, alluring, magnetic, like, oh, I want some of that. Like, this is a desire, but feeling um, it's just an illusion where you're dreaming about it and trying to face your fears about, can this actually go somewhere? Um this would not be lowering your standards. You got the seven of wands. So it's like, I'm not dealing with any jealousy crap. You're going to have to work harder to get my attention because my fine line is here. These are my boundaries and thou shalt respect my shit. But with the knight of cups here, that's being like intuitive and drawn towards somebody. This somebody can be that is into arts and crafts and poetry and singing, etc. But this is your energy. So it's like, sing me a pretty song of a ballad of a, you know, an, a nice love romance. And with the moon there, that can be that you just don't necessarily see what what is the truth. That also can be confusion about reality and not seeing somebody for who they truly are and having your guard up. And that somebody might need to buy some fuck up flowers and kiss your ass a little bit. So let's see what we got. If you are dealing with an Aries, Leo, or Seth. Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, what do we got? Ooh, Queen of Pentacles. Ace of Coins, very nice. Okay, so if you're single, go for it. This can be somebody that you do not know is interested in you yet. They would probably have a really good idea of what your what your idea of, these are my boundaries and you, you shall respect me. This is somebody that's going for it. With the sun, it's similar to the energy of the fool. Let's let's give it a go. I want your attention. I feel like this can be something really magnificent. How do they feel? Like, you're the bomb diggity. You are the bomb diggity. They want to see if this would pay off. It's like, let's see if this can be something that kind of steadily grows. This is somebody that in their mind, you got it all going on. How do you see this person? Okay, very independent, emotionally available. I mean, that's very nice. And also, I mean, it's seeing them as single, so nothing wrong with that. Now, if this is a person from the past, um, they know they got some making up to do. They would be happy. They would like to try to clear things up with you. They know they have to reach certain expectations because the queen ain't going to tolerate any crap. Can be that this person was hiding things from you and you basically said this is shit I will not tolerate. But they, you know, there's still feelings here. You still have feelings. So what's the black is if it's somebody from the past? Queen of Cups. Alright, well we now we reverse because that's what we saw. Oh, we don't like this shit. No, 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 no. Who's getting in the way here? Hmm? Queen of Cups reverse can be an X. And the, the Queen of Wands like, okay, well, where is all your attention supposed to be and where is it? And therefore, I'm emotionally getting pissed off and moody and not fucking enjoying this shit at all. If it's the ex, your feelings towards them. The moon. There it is in a nutshell. I don't know what the hell to expect from you. I'm afraid to give it a chance. With the magician here, it does look like you realize they're going to. But they got to come clean with you. You got the Seven of Swords. Reversed. They have to come clean with you, so they need to inflate their balls, come up to you, and actually say, hey, I would like to have a talk. I want to be mature about this, and that is what they're thinking of, but they got to start from ground zero again because they broke your fucking heart, and that could have been a third party or not. doesn't have to be, but you're going to be like, you need to, I mean, there's the fuck up flowers, and you need to start uh, following the right game here. Grab a glove, get in the game, don't drop the ball. 
be more honest, don't you? It's like this person could have gotten caught with their damn pants down. It's like, I don't need the illusion of a real relationship and what it, you think it should. No. No. If you're going to hide secrets, then go home to mama. Because you'd be sitting on the fence going, um, I will think about, but I don't have to. I don't need you. Seven of Pentacles is very, hmm, now what? I don't, I don't have to have a person in my life. I would like to, but I need to be able to trust you. With the High Priestess here, this is you going, I will remain a little bit quiet and aloof until you get your shit together and prove to me. Prove to me what you're going to do with the rest of our time here, or I will exclude you. All right, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. The World and the Three of Cups. All right. And the King of Pentacles. Very nice. Okay. If this is new, how do you see them? Three of Wands. Ooh. And the Fool. I like that. So that's looking forward to. It's like, where's my person? I've been waiting, waiting, waiting. But the ships are finally coming in. The Fool, it's like, let's take a chance. It's a newer connection. The possibilities are definitely good. You might get a little um, impulsive with this and take just go for it. There's no restrictions here. It's kind of a, a waiting game. You know, wait and see. But this person, in their mind, this is like a new beginning, a new chapter, Three of Cups. Let's enjoy each other's company. Let's hang out with friends, too. They don't want to, you know, it's almost like they want to do the, the damn um, coffee date because you can almost bail on a coffee date. Call me at 2 p.m. so I can bail if it's bad or text me or something so I have it out they're they're keeping it real superficial but they are definitely their action is being respectable the king of pentacles is serious slow responsible practical very down to earth this would say yes if it's somebody from the past what's the blockage all right okay so somebody caused uh, the two of you were not at, at the same point in time we take the blockage we flip it so there's been a major strife put in between the two of you that's caused this major rift where you're growing apart from each other and the ten of cups it's like you lost the, the connection in, in a way that it's got you depressed and upset and it's like this is not how things should be but this is like taking a time out the word Pax, P-A-X, is Latin for peace, and it is in the actual Rider weight debt. So the Four of Swords is basically, I need to not have to look at your face right now. I need some time to be able to think about this. But the Ten of Cups, when it's reversed, it's like, I don't feel that things are going in the right direction with our, our connection anymore. I don't feel the same way. I don't feel at ease. I don't feel like you're taking my, my emotions seriously. I feel like we're kind of falling out of love or that there had been toxic behaviors possibly cheating but it lacks the closeness that it once had and you're going i am disappointed in this shit i am so unsatisfied this is like i you had your cake and eat it too and don't feel like the connection was emotionally or physically um satisfying and if it was casual it was temporary indulgence and you're kind of going this was just based on sex and how you selfish asshole no What's the outcome if it's an X? All right. They're, they would repeat the same damn cycle and start getting flirty again. So they would bail again. Six of Swords. I, I feel like you need to move into clearer waters. And th this would be that you already know this. With the Six of Swords, it's like not easy come, easy go, but it's time for you to go. Time for you to go, 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 go. It's like I need to distance myself from this crap. I need to control what happens in my life and that's not dealing with any illusion with you anymore you're not concealing any crap no more bullshit it's movement away so i would say that they would repeat the same old bullshit pattern boy i'm awfully chatty today my god all right cancer scorpio pisces the eight of pentacles the two of wands and the queen of swords all right five of swords reversed okay well let's just start if you are single this is looking like somebody that might have more than one option they haven't really decided which way to go however if they're emotionally remaining a little bit cold they could have resting bitch face can be just an air sign 
but it's somebody that is very strong and confident and very, very independent. And this is somebody that's like, they would talk first and affection would come later type thing. They use their head, not their heart. But needing to make a decision, this is somebody that does think about working on a connection and does want something that, you know, has longevity in a new chapter. That looks nice. Your energy at the bottom of the deck would say, I want to learn more about you. Let's see what we have in common. If this is somebody from the past, they got some regrets because they're thinking, if I apologize, if I say I was wrong, if I bite my tongue, if I control my, my bullshit, because they could give you mixed signals and it's time for a truce in this person's mind. But sometimes it's like, where's the common sense? They have no, they need one upside the head. They can send you mixed signals and it's like time to wake up and smell the coffee. And this would be, um, it's a commitment or bust. Did you learn a lesson? I'm the judge. I'm the jury. I decide. What is the blockage? Not good. Okay. Okay. So either this person was an attention hoe and screwing other people or you told them to fuck off because they needed their ego stroked constantly and you're like, I can't do that anymore. Like, I don't even want to be in the same room with you. I don't like the way you chew. I don't like hearing you chew. But you, like, you completely lost the connection. The feeling of intimacy kind of makes you want to gag on a toothbrush. You know, it's like it's not there anymore. This also could have been somebody that was uh, just looking for screwing around and or couldn't get it up. I mean, there are sexual issues here. But superficial. Well, there's that potential of superficial. Uh, this would be a manipulator and a very cold-hearted, snaky one. Bottom of the deck, you got the hangman reversed. I feel like you're doing some arts and crafts and going, yeah, you know, you got a nice bod and everything, but I got to let you go. I don't care what other people's expectations are. I don't care what everybody else thinks. I need to just walk away from this shit. Page of Swords. I've been doing my homework and I have discovered what you've been doing behind my back. So the Page of Swords is our little... Mm, spy of the deck and the hangman reversed kind of like you're wasting my time this is going nowhere three of swords you shallow mofo you hurt me you you're a you're resentful when it comes to this person there's so much tension no thank you is kind of where you're going yeah you're like i i hope you get a lot you have a lot of shit coming your direction and i hope i'm there to see it mm mm, -mm. I feel like you need, not worth the time. It's not worth it. And it's like, uh, I, I hope karma slaps you. But it's a weak connection. You feel like things were one-sided and you didn't get out of it what you wanted. And yes, they could have stepped out of the connection. But man, that home record card and the two of pentacles reversed. No, 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 no. I'm not an option. So go have your, your, your girlfriend, boyfriend, your little hide side piece. Mm -hmm. Have them stroke your ego because I'm done doing it. But I'm going to apologize. No, your apology will go in the garbage. All right. Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. Ten of Wands. Temperance reverse. This person's fucking moody. Two of Swords reverse. All right. They, they feel like everything's all up in the air and that you've made your mind up that you're not going to talk to them anymore, that they're screwed. Temperance Reverse would say that this person feels like frustrated because the, the two of you, things weren't working out. They might have felt neglected. They're emotionally, mentally, it's so hard. You won't give me attention. Why won't you consider me again? They really feel like you're just not interested in, in anything with them. Four of Cups is like, huh, why bother? I'm just going to sit here and mope under the tree and a couple apples might fall on your fucking head and knock some sense into you. It's a blockage. Wheel of Fortune. Timing can be a problem here. Five of Cups. Regrets and brokenhearted and then the devil reversed so somebody needs to get over possibly drinking issues too That can be I hate to say that but it is true 
But there's a timing issue here, some sort. Somebody could be getting the unexpected karma and feeling a bit hopeless. So that might give you a little bit of closure that's needed. But somebody's definitely having to face the music and they're really having to rethink things. But everything fell through. They know that you have made up your mind that you're not going to be treated like an option. You're not going to leave everything all up in the air. There's things that are just not okay with you. And they're confused. Well, they're going to have to stay confused. Because... Let's see what you want. What do you want with this person? Do you want anything with them? Eight of Swords. Oh, yes. You want to pin them up? Ooh. Listen up, you lying sack of shit. Look at this. I'm going to pin you up on the board here, and we're going to play darts with knives. Really sharp ones. Look at the eek look on that face there. Eight of Swords means I, I don't see this happening. I don't, I don't want to deal with you. I don't want to see you. I am not listening to you anymore. I, I, I don't believe a word that comes out of your mouth. I, I don't want to talk to you. Uh, that's basically knowing that they're never going to be honest. Then you're kind of going, you omit truth. So if you want a confrontation, I'll give it to you. But don't overthink it because it ain't, it ain't going anywhere. So it's like, go ahead and speak your piece. Let's sit there and watch them talk like an idiot. You keep babbling. You're digging yourself deeper. All right. You might enjoy it, though. Sand. Aries. Taurus, Leo, Scorpio, Aquarius, Pisces, Cancer, heavily. Leo. Facing the music. Capricorn. Sagittarius. You hear the water running? <laughs> let, let me let me ask you. We did a pop quiz with, I think it was cancer. If you're on blood thinners, here, here, here's a question. Question. Mm, the moon wants to know if you're on blood thinners and your your mouth is bleeding because y you um, flossed your teeth and that didn't go so well and it's been hours now of bleeding through the mouth. Should you be drinking ice water or hot coffee? That's why you hear the water running because he's sucking coffee. It's like, devil meant you. My lovely father, I love and adore you. However, sometimes your brains are so far up your ass, it's insane. All right, on we go. All right. Hey, That's from the Wookiee. If you don't know who the Wookiee it is, my ex. And he is here periodically to help out. Okay, you guys have your own energy. So your energy is showing me that there is a need for balance. Justice is about balance. It's about cause and effect. It's about being objective, uh, taking accountability, having a very strong character. But this is looking more like you feel like your needs aren't being met. With the Eight of Pentacles here reversed, somebody might be preoccupied and you feel like they need to be more balanced, more fair, and give you the attention that you deserve. The Queen of Wands is all about getting attention. It's also somebody that it's showing that there's a, a physical attraction to somebody that is a little uh, strategic on your end. It's like, I'm trying to get your attention. I don't care what I have to do to get it. But you might feel like they're kind of neglecting it or what they're doing behind the scenes. Like they're too busy. So let's see what we get. One more thought just before we start. This also can be that somebody's trying to get your attention and you're really not interested. Somebody else could have called called you out as, a, I hate to say it, but player. Or like nothing's ever good enough for you. And you're kind of going, that is really not how I am. All right. Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. Like I'm defending my fucking honor type. In, yep. All right. Page of Wands. I'm curious. Ace of Pentacles. Abracadabra. I want to reach out and grab you. All right, I mean, this person, their thoughts, they definitely think that you are, you know, they're hoping, they're curious. Are you interested in me? How they feel? They feel like the two of you have something to start on. They feel like this is a good, uh, that's a good foundation. It's a good place to start. They feel like you're worth the investment. And as far as their action with the Queen of Pentacles, yeah, look at what came out with that. So let's, let's, ooh, look at that. Look at that. This is your energy. It was at the bottom of the deck. Let's see what else we got. Ooh, underneath of that. If you're single, <sighs> you shouldn't be for much longer. Because this would indicate that this person, you would. this is your energy here. 
Two of Cups. You feel like you would have something in common with this person. And with the Emperor being there, that's like all four kings in one. So it's somebody that's loving and caring and is definitely going to want to meet your needs. And they think that you are worth investing in big time. And they so it's like, okay, let's let's get active here. Now, besides sex, which is very obvious with the Ace of Wands, it's also a feeling of you you inspire me and I fantasize about you and I'm excited. You put a bounce in my step. I feel um, encouraged by you to try to be as good as you are at anything or the type of person that you are. So let's see if you're interested. Ten of Pentacles and the Queen of Cups. All right, I would say that you are emotionally possibly invested with this person. If it's somebody from the past, it's basically starting over. And it would tell me that you still have feelings for this person. And this also can be for singles. A group of people through work in large amounts of people. And the pentacles are all about earth. So anywhere outside, I know it sounds kind of kind of lame, but it's true. But with the queen of cups here, I'd say that you're definitely feeling that this could go somewhere. It's also using your intuition, but it's also only if it's reciprocated. So you'll treat this person the same freaking way that they treat you, but this looks absolutely beautiful. We like it. We're leaving it. So are you giving this person an opportunity because they want to pay attention to you? And it can be a period where you really weren't looking. It's like, ugh, I've got other things going on. I'd kind of given up on emotions. And it could have been just that you're kind of bitter from somebody else that had done shit that was like a, a too little too late. And therefore, the last thing on your mind is lovey-dovey. And all of a sudden, here comes somebody wanting your attention. All right, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. Eight of Wands. Oops, two came out. We're taking it. Judgment, Reverse, and the Five of Cups for feelings. One more. One more. But the magician for action. All right, Eight of Wands. This person's thinking very heavily about, let's talk this out. However, their feelings, they feel like you're not going to give them the opportunity. They also could feel like you're two-faced. Just saying, just saying, like you're two-faced and um, that you're trying to resuscitate a relationship that's just not working or that you're not ready for love. And this would, this person feeling disappointed by it. Maybe they just need to fucking walk on away and bottom of the deck, you know, you have the four of coins. So I feel like you would hold back from this person. What's the blockage? Feeling sorry for themselves. Happy horse shit. The blockage is they walked away in the first place. Or the two of you grew apart. They could have been screwing another person because the lovers is a decision and the seven of wands. So we take these three. As I had said in the beginning of the video, when I say damage or blockage, we flip it. So the lovers reversed is somebody that... The two of you don't feel the same way uh, about each other. It's distorted. It's like there's a potential uh, codependency, possibly not interested or compatible. There also can be regret because of a decision that's made that made a separation or a breakup because of betrayal or lack of trust. And the seven of wands reversed is a really good indicator of fuck this. I don't, I don't have time for this shit. I, I, you know, I feel like you're a goddamn loser. Uh, you make me feel insecure and I let my guard in and you 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 basically now you think you want to come back I you, I don't have the I don't have the patience for patience I'm running out of it but they're definitely going to try I don't think they're going to succeed though because your energy is going you know kiss my ass in Yonkers window basically if you don't know what Yonkers is we'll say kiss my ass in Walmart's window but with the world here I mean you're like looking on into new the horizons and you got the four of pentacles now with a cut I mean that that's uncanny how that can come up the four of coins is basically holding holding a little bit of a grudge possibly but it's kind of going I I can't do this shit right now I have to protect myself I'm being closed off. I'm not at ease with you. I just need to like let go right now. Um, I'm letting go of you so I can hold on to me. It's like my boundaries. My boundaries. What do we got for Ocon? Because I know the Eight of Pentacles. They're still going to try. I don't care if you say it's not worth your time. Wheel of Fortune reverse. They're like, I'm going to end up with a bad outcome. It's almost like they need to face the music and they knew it. But it feels like you've gotten closure. So good luck to them. However, with the Eight of Pentacles, are you willing to open up and let this person try again? You have the Eight of Pentacles here reversed and up right here. 
that would say this person's going to give you the possible bullshit line. I'm going to make this work. I'm very focused now where I hadn't been before. I'm not going to treat you like you're another notch in the belt or I'm not going to treat you like shit. And now at the bottom of the deck, we have the eight of swords. Really pinning them up on a dartboard and having it's like have at it. The, I mean, so this is you kind of going, I'm not taking any more of this um, being attacked. I don't see. That's the woman with the swords around her and she's blindfolded, but she has the opportunity to walk out feeling like you're bound to something, feeling stuck. Not good energy. Knight of Swords. It's like I'm getting my ass out of this shit right away and I'm not giving you any damn, no damn attention for you, person. Just a little bitter, guys. Just a little. All right. Cancer, Scorpio, and Pisces. All right, Nine of Swords and Temperance. Why do we have the Seven of Coins for this person's thoughts? Ooh. This person's made up their mind. And I want one more because I can go either way. One more. Yeah, they're, they're thinking that the two of you aren't really done, but that you have made up your mind that you're kind of not taking any more shit. The two of swords, like a choice has already been made, but they don't feel like things are done between the two of you. However, they're kind of sitting on the fence. Do I invest in this again? Do I reach out to Libra or not? So they're having a hell of a time. Th their feelings, they're all up in their head. Their, their mind's doing 90 miles an hour. They're worried that you are not going to take their cup again. Here I am. We're going to love each other again. They're coming at you for some Netflix and chill, but they don't feel like that you're going to be happy with them. Wow, what a bummer. Because the Nine of Cups, when it is reversed, is somebody that's going, I'm not happy. I'm not satisfied. I don't feel like this is going to please me. So what is their what is their damage? Like nothing's ever good. Hair font. All right. They need to learn a damn lesson. This is somebody that could have been putting you in a third party. However, they oh, that's non-committal shit. I don't learn lessons because I have my head up my ass. And the three of wands, when it's reversed, is I'm kind of leading you on. This isn't really going anywhere. How do you see this person? C, 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 C. Six of wands reversed. You don't feel like the two of you are going to make it through this. You really don't. You get the six of wands reversed. It's like, I'm not, you're not leading me on anymore. I'm not biting, not taking it. It's like you have a big head. You think that you can come and go at, at your leisure with the Knight of Wands here. The Knight of Wands can be a huge attraction and somebody that's really good looking, but you don't feel like they are using it. It's like, I don't feel like we're getting over this hurdle. Like they fell off the damn horse. It's the picture with on the horse and getting attention from other people. And you're kind of going, you're superficial. I was looking for the next fucking victim type thing. And the hangman reverse. You just don't feel like this person's ever going to offer it. Look, it's like a male stripper. I mean, you kind of got to appreciate that for the hangman. They got nice abs at least. But the hangman reverse is like, this person is never going to give me what I'm looking for. It's not possible. So why waste time? Not offering what I want. And I kind of need a break from your ass. So, I mean, this person does intend. I'm still going to try. I'm not over you. I'm sitting on the fence. Well, maybe a fence supposed to go up your ass and you'll think about that because as far as you're concerned, you're not going to be an option. So I, I'm not, I'm not doing it anymore. I'm not doing it. There's the queen of wands. I can have attention from who the fuck ever I want and it ain't going to be you. All right. Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. Oh, there's that emperor. The high priestess. Ooh, ooh, sexy. Ooh. Let's see what you think of them. What does Libra think of them? Flirty. New lovey dovey. We like lovey dovey. Nice. Let's see what we got now with a cut. Ooh, we like this. Okay, so you're open to emotions with this, and you want it to kind of go slow. But look at this. You got the Page of Cups, the Knight of Cups, and the King of Cups. Oh, so it's like playing flirting messaging. 
that coy feeling of the little butterflies in the belly type thing. Knight of Cups, that's okay. You're going to take my ass out on a date. And the King of Cups is being emotionally mature. Because the King of Cups is very smart when it comes to emotions. Very intuitive. And, and it's kind of weighing the pros and cons as far as this. But they kind of feel like you're playing hard to get. And they have an interest in making you their significant other. It does look like you're interested. This is looking like major singles. If this is from the past... They basically feel like you're keeping them at arm's length and staying quiet on purpose, possibly to, to, to give them a lesson. But this would tell me that you would like to have this person back. So what was the damage here? All right. You got the six of swords. One more. What was the damage? All right. So you got the five of pentacles and the six of swords. This is somebody that walks away, ghosts you, makes you feel abandoned and rejected and takes off into a different direction. Like things have to go smoother between the two of us. And now they're bringing the baggage back. I mean, you got two cards of I'm coming back. I'm a piece of shit. I uh, was crashing out on somebody else's couch. And um, but I'm coming back with all my damage and my broken parts. Do they have broken parts? How do you see them if it's an X? How do you see them? You got the moon and the pay. Oh, look at that. Ace of Swords Reverse. I don't trust you. I don't believe a damn thing is coming out of your mouth. And the Page of Pentacles is like, you don't put any work into things. You're immature. And with the moon here, not trusting this. It's like, you make me feel anxious. I always feel like I'm in the damn dark. Illumination is not doing anything. It's unrealistic. It's, you're de delusional. If you think that I'm giving to this anymore, you can't just come and go as you want. However, there are still feelings here. If they changed their tune, would you take them back? Only if they took accountability for their actions. But there's a major trust issue. Oh, I'm going to make it all better. Yeah, okay there, Emperor. Because I'm standing my firm belief in this and I'm going to have my way. The emperor is very solid. Don't get me wrong. But what's led them to be, oh, I'm firmly believing in this. And it's like, yeah, you know, just sit down there, emperor. Okay, junior, don't get so uptight because they're so serious. I'm so serious. Chill, chill, chill. All right. So we have Aries, Libra, or I'm sorry, Libra up there heavily. Cancer, Pisces. I get so carried away. It's the coffee, I think. Maybe. Maybe not. I had to put Dad back to bed. I had to put him to bed. I, I'm going to tell the story at the end of, of the, the video itself because it's something. Pisces, Cancer. Pisces, Heavily. Taurus. Temperance. We have Sagittarius. Cap uh, Scorpio. Brains up my butt here, too. Gemini. All right, and heavy your own your own energy. So th there does seem to be a balance that's needed, but it does look like that you you have something singles definitely coming your way, and I'm not like something wicked this way comes something actually that's going to make you feel good about yourself, give you a little pep in your step type feeling. But it's after a point of I'm really not interested in love. And all of a sudden this person comes in. Now this also can be somebody that is a police officer, works for clerical, court, any type of thing of that nature. Just keep that in mind. Uh-huh. Could be an undercover private eye. Ooh. So maybe they've investigated you guys. All right. That's what we have for you. And on we go. Scorpios, your energy. Kind of sucks a little bit. Got to be honest. However, it looks like you're kind of pulling out of some issues death reversed so are you obsessed afraid of change something turbulent just happened could be uh lingering jealousy issues might feel like you're in limbo are you holding on to the past are you fearing commitment with the six of swords it's like you're actually making an effort to leave things behind but having a hard time actually doing so you might be getting help from friends there is a potential of meeting new people or work collaboration. But the, the three, it's like I, I want to work on this not feeling like I'm getting anywhere. Or you're kind of feeling like you're going in circles trying to get over somebody. It's like I feel like things could work out if. I feel like things could have been better if only. And it's like the obstacles that had been it's time to move on from. Kind of like that. Mm -mm. So let's grab a clean deck suit we get.
Source, Scorpio is dealing with an Aries, Leo, or a Sagittarius. Knight of Cups reversed. Temperance. All right, one more. Okay. Okay, so this is definitely somebody that wants to take some action. Now, with the thought of you not being interested, but they would like to try to make the okay. Yeah, they feel like the two of you are at a position of being in a, a stalemate where nobody's going to budge. So you got budge fest and this person in their mind, they think that you don't have the same feelings for them anymore. Their actual feelings, they feel like there's still something here. Like they want a resolution. Like if they're patient, that things can still work out. But they're, they're definitely taking action to tell you that I feel like this is going to work out. I, I'll put more work into it. I'll be more focused. I'll pay more attention to you. What's blockage? All right, one more. All right, who gave up? Ten of Wands. I give up. Too much fucking work. You're too much of an attention hole. This person could have led you on. They could have been uh, entertaining other people. They could have been getting attention from other people, which caused some jealousy issues, which do clearly show up here. How do you feel towards this person? All right. Well, I don't know that you're giving them the time of day. It's like uh, you might be missing them, but you're trying to turn your back away. It's like, I need some time to think. I see the light. I see things for what they truly are. And this would say that you don't want to talk to them and they're damn well aware of it. But you got budge, budge, budge fest. Nobody's making any movement at all. Is this person getting attention from other people? I mean, come on. If they feel, if they aren't talking to you at all, they want to reach out and say something. I don't care if they're seeing another person or not. They definitely have something to say. Is this person seeing somebody else reverse? Yes. No. All right. Are their intentions pure, reversed? No. Oh, it is. However, you got the seven of coin. We're going to take that because it's putting you in this position. This is your energy. I have to spy. I have to watch you like a hawk. Then what the hell's the point? So you'd be kind of on the fence. It's like, okay, you're coming in saying we can try and work on things. And at the same time, you're making me doubt. I'm iffy. Is this going to pay off? Am I going to be able to pluck these freaking nice shiny coins here or not? So this is, you could be a little bit impatient about how things had been moving too slowly or pessimistic that this, you know, it's like evaluating the potential of where could this go? Itching for a change, but at the same time, not getting it. I would say you're, you're, you do miss them, but you might have to distance yourself just to get your shit together to think, because I'm telling you now, you will hear from that person, even if it's been a while. All right. Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. Ooh, I wish upon a star. I wish I may, I wish I might have some sex with you tonight. So oh, goodness. All right. Forgiveness. That's what we're looking for here. This person's thinking about if I broke a promise to you, I want to make up for it. This is somebody they feel. They feel that they have learned a lesson. They're coming in with their hot wand. I'm not thrilled about that. Yeah, they're thinking about how things had been, how things used to be, how much emotion they still have towards you and missing you. Blockage. Not good. No. No, not good, not good, not good. This person's got a zipper problem. In other words, they can't keep the damn thing up. They need a chastity belt. The devil, when we have this, it's like, I'm exhilarated by the drama of playing around with other people. It's lust. They're bound to their troublemaking bullshit. I'm all about seducing and I'm toxic in the brain and I'm tempted by the fruit of another and I get trapped and I overindulge in things I can't, possibly into drinking as well. But th this is like, devil? No. 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 How do you feel? You're trying to heal. You're trying to get over this person. There is this feeling of things can go better, but you're still having a hard time getting over something. I mean, the, the trust issues are still there. Would you want to try to work things out with this person? It's possible that they're coming to you and you'd have to think about it. Okay. That would tell me that there is still a, I can heal, we can heal, but don't take over and try to smother mother this person to make things work. Because if they have toxic ways, I mean, come on, they're coming in for a makeup screw. 
One more for their action. One more. Nah, I just don't like it. It's almost like they think you're easy. I don't like it. Look at that. I'm coming in. I'm going to get bang one off with you. And then out the fucking door I go. I don't like that shit. That can be somebody that's unfaithful, shallow. It's like they have a, a conceited type energy about them. Like they deserve it. No, they, they got it coming. Don't kiss this person's ass. I don't give a shit what the hell they promise you with the overall energy of the star. That, that's like, I yearn for you. I have expectations from you. I want. You're the goal, but not. Hold back. Four of coin. You're not worth it anymore. This is like the feel to protect yourself. Like you're not at ease with letting go of where you're at. So a little bit closed off anyway. So good luck to that person. All right. Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces, Justice. Back at the Hall of Justice, I had this idea. I have this idea that I'm coming in with my chariot and I'm going to pick you up for a date. Ooh. They definitely have the idea that the two of you would be a good match. This can be somebody that, um, where you kind of balance each other out, where they're more outgoing or you're more outgoing, they're a little bit more introverted. But it's like somebody that wants to make sure that their emotional needs are being met and they take accountability. Very strong character, heavy on the Libra, but I want the same thing. I'm hoping you're all about it. This feels new. Okay, so let's start here and kind of work our way up to that 10 of pentacles that's wanting something stable and kind of going for it it's like this person feels a sense of security around you they feel comfortable around you they're sensual but there's a potential and they would value you and with the chariot ooh, how does this move forward turns into lovey dovey Cut of the deck, you have the Ace of Cups, and at the bottom of the deck, you still have that Eight of Wands. So it's like, this seems like something that could have been online, a lot of fast messages kind of out of the blue, just boom, and all of a sudden, all hell's breaking loose with messages and new potentials, but it turns into love, love, lovey dove dove. Let's see how you see them. I would like to get to know you better, and there's that damn cup, but you will take me seriously, or I will bite your head off. So you would like to... You're not promising anything. It's like, okay, let's start with friends. I see that there's potential here. Maybe you overanalyze it just that much. But it's like, okay, I need things to go slowly. So it's like, I'm going to study the hell out of you and see if you're actually going to be worth my while. But the potential for love is definitely there. It can be somebody from work. And the chariot, heavy cancer as well. But that's like, I'm going to have. I'm having Scorpio. Are you? Ooh. Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. Ten of Cups, I'm thinking about trying to work things out with you. That's a possible apology with judgment. I'm going to change my wicked ways. Why the Nine of Swords for action? Ugh. Okay, this person is a little bit agitated that you closed off. That's tough shit. Why the Ten? Oh, they have an apology to offer you. I'd be a little bit leery. All right, so the blockage is Death Reverse. And the moon, the moon up above. Somebody got busted. Seeing somebody for who they truly are. The moon reverse can be a lot of lot of different things, but there's a sense of erratical, irrational, like emotions all over the place and difficult emotions that have to be confronted and kind of uh, hiding from the confrontation, deception, possible lies and anxiety and avoiding reality and blocking the fears and this is just looking like you're not open to it oh you are defensive you're like you come my way you come my way you dare come my way i ain't tolerating this shit one more i ain't taking it i'm not gonna take it no i think you're sticking up for yourself and saying we're done because you got the five of pentacles so if it, you've been in a position where this person ghosted you or bailed on you and cut off communication and you're saying, I'm not tolerating you coming back around and thinking everything is going to be peachy keen with me. However, you also might try to make things work. So it's going to be specific to you. But with the world, that would be starting over. And you're, you're kind of like, these are my boundaries. And if you can't follow my rules, then couch surf elsewhere. So that still has a potential. What's the likely outcome? Likely outcome. 
Yeah, I don't know. I wouldn't trust it. All right. So this could be uh, making a break for it and just going, I know the truth. I, I know what I need to do for myself because that Ace of Swords is... These are my boundaries, and I'm very confident about my, my boundaries. You want to have a meeting of the minds? I'll be very assertive, but um, I'm going to initiate like us not being together because that's the feeling of it's just not there anymore. You trigger my ass. I don't feel like I can trust you and rely on you to be stable physically, emotionally, mentally, none of it. I'm shutting the door on the effing whore type situation, and it's like there's... There's this trauma that could have been prevented, and now it's like that it can be like the home record card. But you're, it looks like you're just saying, I'm better off just standing my ground and opening a new chapter, getting a resolution, flipping this back upright so that you have the resolution because here it's still a blockage. All right, let's go through the majors. But that's on their mind. I want you back. I can't stop thinking about the connection that we did have. Wham, 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 poor me. Yeah, we don't feel so sorry for them. Taurus, Leo, Scorpio, Aquarius. Scorpio, Pisces, Cancer. Cancer heavily. Libra, Aquarius. Libra again, Pisces, Capricorn. Taurus, Virgo, Sagittarius, and all right, and then Scorpio for your overall. A lot of your own energy in here, very interesting. So make sure before you move ahead, talk to friends. You know, I feel the need to say talk to friends before you move ahead, even if it's an actual physical move, you're moving out of somebody's place or whatever, and you're still having a hard time getting over them. Don't slip back into old patterns by forgiving somebody. I just feel the need to say that you might need to talk to somebody that's kind of outside of it, that doesn't have an opinion about the other person. Just saying, and now I'm nagging, so I'm going to stop here. On we go. Sagittarius. Okay, we're using the Monopoly deck. Okay, some people like to know what it is. This is what it looks like, just like Monopoly cards. So you guys have the Six of Wands reversed, Judgment reversed, and the Eight of Cups reversed. I'm going to say be careful of what you're thinking about. Don't fall into old patterns because you had unresolved issues with somebody that didn't make the best judgment. Like, are you trying to re you know, re resolve and resuscitate a relationship that you... It's like you don't want the change that's needed. Turning away from the truth a little bit. And then the Six of Wands reverses. Like, you don't feel like yourself possibly without this person... You might still be wondering, are they coming back? Are they going to reject me? I mean, because upright, this would be two people that are basically kind of walking away from each other, where there's been a distance between, even if you're in the same damn room. This way is actually trying to work with the distance between the two of you and come back to it, revisit it. It's like um, not over the past, you need to bring the baggage up, so it's like, I'm sad, I'm grieving the loss, but are you still in this, I'm still pining. I'm still pining. Is this person coming back? And is it, is it actually what is best for you? Because your ego's taking a blow. That's kind of what that's feeling like. All right, clean deck. Source, Sagittarius is dealing with another Sagittarius, Aries or Leo. Okay, so thoughts, feelings. Oh, somebody owes you an apology. I think we can work things out if you listen to me. So they're going to come on a pestering at your door. This is somebody that thinks that the two of you can resolve things. So be careful. We're going to find out what the blockage is. But they're, they're taking their sweet ass time making an offer. Because what? They have a hard time apologizing? Oh, I feel like we can make everything work between the two of us. Ooh, they think it's like they almost want to take over. I don't like their attitude. What is blockage? Page of Pentacles. The world. And the King of Wands. I don't... I, I, uncomfortable here. Not comfortable with this type thing. I learned my lesson. No, it's true. No, you're full of shit. King of Wands reversed. Everything is about me. Every damn thing is about me. It's all about what I want. It's all about... 
me, self-absorbed, possibly just sex, somebody that can have a major fucking temper and loses interest easily, now wants to be the fucking boss of the project and I'm coming back or you're coming back and this is the way it's going to be? Or shit. How do you see this person? Five of Cups. You broke my mofo heart. You're hurt. And that you just don't think it's a good idea. You feel like this person needs to change their fucking tune. Or that you're always, you know, like it's a bad penny. It keeps fucking coming up and you can't avoid it. And it keeps coming up and coming up. It's like this person needs to face the damn music. It's like, I'm sorry things didn't go well. But I don't feel like you want to try to work things out with this person. However, they're almost pushy and indignant. Keep in mind, roles can be reversed. Don't push somebody to try to work things out because you will end up unhappy. It won't be the resolution you're looking for. If you try to push somebody to try to work things out, you will end up even watching them like a fucking hawk. With the Page of Swords here, you'll have to play Inspector Asshole, inspecting their asshole, constantly wondering what the asshole's up to, and you don't need that. Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. King of Coins. The Tower. And the High Priestess. All right. So their action. This is somebody that's not telling you right now or they feel like you're ignoring them. Their actions basically like kind of, um, I'm quietly trying to think about what the vision of the future would look like with or without you. They're trying to hold back a little bit using their gut feeling, but they still have fucking secrets. I'd like to come back, but I'm not telling you about that yet because they're feeling like all hell's broken loose between the two of you. And the Eight of Cups, there again. I feel like you're going to reject me. So right now, in their thoughts, I feel like they're just kind of working on money. One more. Eight of Wands. They could be getting attention from other people as well. I'm online. I'm dating. I'm doing this and that. But at the same time, I still want you back. It's like, what are you waiting for fucking either one? We don't like that shit. Put you on the back burner just in case something doesn't work out with somebody else. It's a blockage. They bred from you. Things aren't even. They give you leftover handouts. Mm -mm. No thanks. Knight of Swords reverse. This is somebody that isn't completely... I say I'm honest. I want a resolution. I'm coming at you fairly. I'm ready to take the consequences. No, you're not. You're not. You're, it's like this is somebody that would start out by, you know, oh, I'm going to give you this. I'm going to give you that. I'm going to spend more time with you. And they fall through big time with the Knight of Swords here, especially reversed. They're closed-minded. They got a big fucking attitude. It's somebody that's very self-righteous. They stir up drama. They make excuses. They don't give you whole truths. And possibly always trying to get their ass out of bad situations. And then bails on you and leaves you behind. Well, who the f wants that? But they're thinking about you while they're playing luxury king on somebody's yacht. I don't like it. I'm, you know, I'm this good. So you got to come up to my level. I'll keep you on the back burner. No. Be honest with yourself. Seven of Swords reversed. Be honest with yourself. If you caught this person uh, screwing around, what's going to keep you happy? Because with the sun here, yes, it's a wonderful, wonderful card. But it also can be that one partner needs a little bit more attention than the other. And that the relationship, you know, how much can you actually give? The pressure to play the supporting role, to make improvements, to supply somebody happiness and be optimistic all the time. It's a lot of expectations, and I feel like it's got your gut in a knot, kind of going, I don't know if I can do this shit, where you're constantly, you're giving me a headache, and I can't stop thinking about this. Ugh. Sorry, I'm going to go. Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces, Source. Straight. All right, I'm kind of damned if I do and damned if I don't. See the sloth up in the tree? Three of Wands, reversed as far as feelings. So this person feels like you led them on. And Nine of Cups, reversed. I'm not happy. I'm not this. I'm not that. What they're doing, they've given up. They're out doing some drinking and feeling sorry for themselves. With strength here, they're, they're holding back. They, they feel like you have led them on. And they're very confused about what... Everything's all up in the air. I don't know what to do. I don't know what to do. Seriously. Why the Three of Wands, reversed? Nap. This person in their mind, you let them down. 
I have feelings for you and you just walked away and you didn't want me and you make me feel so fucking frustrated and you're arrogant and you tire my ass out and you're always holding back. Yeah, okay, sloth. I, you know, I don't, what's the blockage? At least it's a story that they're telling. All right. We take this and we go. Cold-hearted asshole, manipulative, and in charge of somebody else's feelings. I'll let you know how you feel, but they don't put any work into it. This is somebody that does not work well with others, is not an asset to class, and is a pain in the ass. So you can't count on them. It's like uh, not on the same page, chronically putting issues there, but that Queen of Swords reverse, ooh. False judgment. I'm denying any emotions and I'm holding a grudge and I'm pissed off and I will lash out at the entire world if I need to. It's a likely outcome. Hermit. Well, that person's going to keep to themselves and judgment reverse. So, I mean, this can be somebody that has decided to stay by themselves, but you got double judgment reverse. So be careful. Don't you chase this person because you want to try to work things out because they're holding back. They do not know what they want. One for Sagittarius. Nine of Swords. So, do they put you all up in your head and make you wonder? Put you in the, you know, on the fence on, can this work? Is this person ever gonna put any work into it? Is this ever gonna go anywhere? Is this, you know, this pessimism and impatient about things moving forward too slowly, but still willing to wait. Don't be willing to wait if this person's making you your guts be in knots because they're doing some thinking, drinking, and they feel like you're the cause of everything. Or at least that's what they're telling everybody else. Whether it's true or not, that's what they're telling people. All right, and that's how they see it. Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. Two of Wands. Should I stay or should I go? Boom, 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 boom. All right, so this person, okay, uh, you, they might think that you're a little bit easier than they should because their action, oh, the Knight of Wands with the Queen of Wands reversed. Are they with a secret ho-ho or the Two of Wands? Got to make up my mind? Oh, I'm not really over you, but I'm not really open to anything else. So they're holding back on trying to make things work because this would be a solution. You got temperance here, Sagittarian energy. And the four of pentacles, that's holding back. It's like, I'm not interested. There also can be somebody that likes, like, uh, over possessive of you. But with death reversed here in this person's mind, they're afraid of change. They're obsessed with what they want and they're not making any choices right now. It's like, I've got this over here. I've got this over here. Hmm. Do I want this partner or do I want that partner? Here again, I'm trying to heal. I'm trying to decide if I want Sagittarius around. But it almost is like just for one thing. Because this person, I'm vain. Uh, you're easy to, to get. And I'm, I'm charming, so I get whatever the hell I want. Their motives aren't good. Blockage. Somebody's got a depression issue and doesn't feel good enough. Who might that be? I'm not pointing any fingers. You tell me. You tell me. Because the Queen of Pentacles, it's like this person's made you feel like you're not good enough. Who the hell wants to feel? I don't want to. I don't want to feel that way. I'm depleted. I feel like the attraction has slowly just seeped away. I feel like this was me... I, not being happy and trying to make this and I don't see clearly you've got judgment that is clouded. It's likely outcome. Nine of Pentacles. That's being single. Find a new connection possibly. Somebody that's single. And that's a new connection. So this is looking like turning away from this person because they're causing depression. And with the four of coins, it's like they don't offer love. They don't. They don't know what the hell to do. Here we have one plant saying that's a Sagittarius. And here we got, you know, what other person? And eeny, meeny, miny, mo. And that's not the way it is. There, there again is that feeling of back burner bullshit. What does Sagittarius want? All right, Eight of Swords and Three of Cups. Look at look at this man, little little troll like guy, feeling like you're under attack, feeling like you can't see straight, but still wanting this person back. 
be careful. If you really want somebody back, make it make them work for it. That means this needs to go this way. Release yourself. Have your freedom. Be single for a while and then think about who you want to be around, who you enjoy being with, who you want to be um, in a connection with. But that's, you know, let's spend some time with friends and have something to celebrate. And you're just like, I can't see it. What aren't you seeing? The truth? Maybe. Naggy, naggy. All right. Sorry. Libra. Pisces Cancer. Scorpio. Taurus, Leo, Scorpio, Aquarius, Aries, Scorpio, very heavily, Leo, I don't like that, Queen of Wands reversed, it's like a tension hole, hidden, hidden agenda bullshit, Sagittarius, I don't like hidden agendas, mm-mm, nope, 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 and Leo, all right, so be careful what you wish for. You just might get it, but I don't think it would make you feel happy. So keep that in mind. Don't just go on, I feel so low. I feel so inferior right now that taking somebody back is the only way that I'm going to feel better or not rejected. Just be cautious. All right, I stop nagging now. On we go. Capulets. All right. So we're using the Monopoly deck. All of your cards came out reversed. Who took advantage of you? You got the Nine of Pentacles reverse, Four of Wands reverse, the Ten of Swords reverse. So it's like a feeling of you having a hard time getting over something, feeling like I'm trying to heal, I'm trying to be honest with myself. Somebody really schmucked with me. But this is like you're still thinking about a home wrecker and somebody that's made you feel like you're not good enough. That's not fun energy at all. So this can be that somebody wasn't actually single, made you feel inadequate. That wasn't ready to settle down anytime soon. And it's just looking like somebody took advantage of you financially. Whatever the case is. I don't I don't really care. Took advantage of you. Took advantage of the uh, giving you a... Giving them, I'm sorry, a roof over their head or whatever the case was. But the deck that I chose for you, let me look at this. It's like you're breaking my fucking heart here. And then they abandoned you, walked away, left you behind. It's not not feeling good. And with a cut, time to be honest with yourself. Breakthroughs are happening. At the bottom of uh, the deck, uh, the Monopoly deck, okay? Three of Wands. Moving forward, there is something better. But you got to be willing to make that move forward. The Three of Wands is like, I'm planning, I'm trying to see a future, I'm waiting for the ships to come in. But it does indicate you got to get over something else first. So let's see what we get. Capulets dealing with an Aries, Leo, or a Sagittarius. Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. All right. Okay, this person's thinking, 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 but they feel like you have no faith in them. So they're going to reach out and try to talk to you. If this person had ghosted you, they, they now feel like you do not want them around. They might feel like you are ignoring them on person. But I've learned a lesson. What is the blockage? Well, you're not taking any chances with this shit. You got the, the blockage being... Uh, somebody needs to learn a damn lesson. You got the Ten of Swords reversed here, and you got the Ten of Swords up reversed there. I don't feel like you're willing to take the, the chance with this person um, committing any more than... It's like, you're taking it so hard. Capricorn says no and piss off a pier and jump in and get eaten by a shark and die. Yeah, I mean, that... This person's acting like it's the end of the world. I'm still willing to put the work in, but you don't have any faith in me. Now I have a low self-esteem. How terrible is that? How do you feel about this person? Oh my God, all over the place. Okay. Okay. So you feel like you dodged a bullet and this person's an attention whore. You were losing and it's disappointment. Let's see what hit the floor. Okay, so what hit the floor is the seven of rods. Not tolerating any more shit. It's like I'm not, I'm not even up for this anymore. This is my my do not cross goal line. I'm done with your crap. So I don't, it doesn't really matter. 
I don't care. Do you care? I don't think you care. I've had enough of your shit. I'm protecting my heart. I'm taking the higher ground. I'm taking the high road and I'm not tolerating any more crap. So you attack me again and I will have to pun throw punch you. I you just feel, it. but I'm going to reach out. Yeah, they're going to play flirty flirty with a little message and it's nothing that you would take seriously. No, thank you. No, thank you. No, look at that. Bottom of the deck. I'm going to take it where I'm taking it out. That can be the person that took advantage of you and your home. And it's looking like you have to be more assertive with who you help. Just saying. All right. Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. Page of Pentacles reversed. Nah, I don't like this person either. What the hell here, guys? Crud. If, if they told you that somebody was just a friend, they were lying. They feel like in their mind... They were irresponsible, but they're never going to admit it. It's somebody that lacked any idea of committing at all. Could have been a fake friend that they were being towards you, but look at the bottom of the deck here. It's like, I need to let you go. I want my fucking freedom from your ass, and I don't trust you. You're manipulating all talk, no action. You're not, you're not changing. I got bad information about your ass, and I got a bad taste in my mouth now. It's like, I give up. I want to walk away from you. Get the hell away. Go, 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 go. Again, throw a punch. You're pissed. What's the blockage? All right. This is the blockage. So we reverse it. So where did they think they were getting off? Being with you and possibly another person. Oh, I'm not really single. I'm supposed to be in another connection with somebody else. I wasn't honest with you. Uh-uh. I needed my, my ego stroke. I really want my freedom. I'm not giving in to settling down anytime soon. So it's just sex. No thanks. And their action? Staying quiet. Ignoring you. So if you tried to reach out to this person, and it does look like you would like to try, because you're having a hard time letting go of this person, I didn't really want things to change between us. But was it good to begin with? Was it good to begin? Oh, now I'm nagging. Oh my God, I'm getting on a fucking soapbox and nagging. Really think about it. I want progress. I need to move forward. I need to turn my back on the bullshit. I need to move forward, not backwards, forward. Make different choices. Stay the hell away from this. Per Ooh, cut of the deck again. Let it go. Have the courage to just let it be what it is and not try to contact this person because they're just going to ignore you anyway. All right. Assholeism. Shake it off. Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces. And yes, I do have to tell myself to shake it off or I'll have the same energy coming into the next one. However, that's already showing. There is that strength. What do you guys got going on? I mean, you're hurt. You feel betrayed. You feel like some, you're resenting somebody. That You're feeling empty and hollow. And who the hell just stabbed your asses in the back? All right. So in this person's mind, they feel like you're kind of judgy. Uh, and, uh, 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 you're the one that got away. Isn't that a fucking bummer? So their lies and bullshit has them feeling like you don't want to talk. You don't want to have anything to do with them, that you are barricading your door. So they're holding back. The hermit reversed to somebody that also chooses to be by themselves, but is still lonely because of things they have done. One more. I'll stop breadcrumbing you. I'll be more giving. I'll spend more time with you. But I don't. They're they're holding back. You're the one that got away. Got away. Got away. All right. So, are you not over this person and you want them to come back because you're afraid of the change? This is looking like you want this person to reach out. Like they all come. It's not going anywhere. You got the chair reversed. This person's an arrogant asshole, and you just need to let them go. Because they're being a cold prick, let them be a cold prick somewhere else. My gosh. You guys are really getting slammed with crap. I'm sorry. Look at the bottom of the deck. You need to be more stern. Take less shit from anybody. Put your sword up and be like, it's my way or the highway. I'm not tolerating any hanging around waiting for you shit. No, I'm not waiting for any crap anymore. I'm not waiting to be treated better. Uh-uh. All right, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, okay, this person has feelings for you, they feel disappointed, they are in this illusion that what, one more, 
one. I got two. Let's see what we have. Okay, they're worried that you don't care about them anymore. I'm scared. I'm frightened. I'm depressed that you don't care about me anymore. That you are repressing your emotions. So they're not doing anything. They have no idea what to think. This is somebody that is anxious as hell and they got no reason to think that you have any feelings. They're feeling empty. I care about you, but you don't care about me anymore. I also could have thought of you as jealous. Provoking them. Oh, were you provoking them? Well, did they make you feel useless? The blockage is. Survey says this person was in love with somebody else as well. You can't split the person down the middle. It's like they're they're going through the same bullshit cycle. They can't stop. I get involved with somebody and then I jump ship to the next person because I get just old toxic crap. Somebody figures them out for who they truly are. But you were provoking this person. No, provoking bullshit. How do you feel? Okay. You feel juggled. You feel like it's like uh, the, the juggling game. The games are over and you're kind of going, I've had enough. I've had enough. That's the wounded warrior card. So it's like enough of this crap. I'm defending myself. I'm defending what I want. I'm not. Don't push me. Don't. I'm protecting my heart. My defense mechanisms and my uh, wire fence is up very high. I'm exhausted by this shit. I still got, I still have it in me to fight, but it's like, you're not, you're not going, you frustrate the shit out of me and you don't feel like this is going to be something smart, but they think you provoke them. <sighs> Singles, because I'm nosy. Who first? Gemini Libra Aquarius. Intentions. All right. This person's just becoming ready to start dating again. Can be somebody through work. Let's see what you think. Okay, you're interested to see where things go, but I feel like you're the one that's going to put the work into it because they kind of got you guessing if they're even interested. So are you obsessed with this person just a little bit, um, you know, on the sexy, sexy side? The lover's card is deeply hidden into the devil card, by the way. So it's like, um, don't get codependent on somebody, but I would really like to see this go somewhere. But they've got me going, hmm, now what? Okay, so I'm going to put my best foot forward and I'm going to give this a try because I can't stop thinking about this person. This can also be just you thinking about what's best for you because this is a Capricorn energy. But they're going, okay, I'm just becoming single. I'm just becoming ready to start dating again. Heavy, heavy air signs and needing to take things slow. I would like to do some Netflix and chill, but I need to get to know you better. So let's spend some time together. Let's take things slow, see how it goes. No rush. But that's also a very sexual card, too. So, like, sex in moderation, guys. Make sure you cap and tap. Cap and tap. All right, see what we got. For majors, Sagittarius. Heavy air signs for singles. Gemini. Pisces, Cancer. Cancer, Scorpio. Leo, Virgo. Scorpio again, Aries, Taurus. Yeah, if somebody had done this to you and this is how they're feeling now, you have no faith in me. Yep, kind of feel that way too. Well, maybe if you wouldn't have screwed me over. I mean, your energy is so, I need to get over this shit. So what you need to do is go, it done, enough. My happy home, my fucking circle of people. And be independent, yes, but also possibly be single for a while and try to heal a little bit more because it's not looking like you are really really single enough if you're still kind of holding on to the past just saying all right the nagging stops on we go aquarius all right you guys have some limbo here going on you got the hangman six of cups reverse this is the monopoly deck for those that are interested nine of wands so I feel like you're kind of defending your territory with the hangman here. You might be going, this is just a good position for me right now. But it does seem like you're having a hard time moving forward from a connection. It's like thinking about how things used to be. That's almost like emotional escapism. It can be that you're wanting somebody to return, but they come with baggage. It's like, I want there to be movement. But is it a good idea? Who stole your heart? Who fucked you over? And this hangman, it's like... 
I'm not committing. No way I want. No, I'm resentful. No, I, I don't know what I Now it just feels like I need to let go of attachments that keep you suffering and yet not doing it. Need to surrender. Deep in thought. I need to make a decision, but I don't really know what I want. So I'm just kind of waiting, dawdling around, trying to decide what to do. All right, let's see what we got. Source Aquarius is dealing with an Aries, Leo, or a Sagittarius. Okay. This person's thinking about walking away if they haven't already. They feel like abandoning ship. They are being, they feel assertive. whoop de do. whoop de do. I'm going to be stable. Things are going to go my way. Are they walking away for somebody else? One more for Eight of Cups. Oh, this person's bored in this connection. What the? How do you see them? Can't rely on them. Greedy, wasteful, devil. Really? Really? You see them as devil? Making you have limitations, possibly financially a user? I don't like that shit. What do they what do they want? They give up. They just are they, they it's too much responsibility for this person. They're sitting on the fence with their finger up their nose going, I'm not putting any work into it. I'm negative. I'm a doggy donor. I don't have the patience for this shit anymore. No. The answer is no. The answer is no. I think you're dodging a bullet here if you avoid this person like the fucking plague. Just saying, because if the, this is looking like I'm walking away because I'm bored. That's what they're thinking. If this person has not walked away, they are thinking about walking away because they're bored. They feel like they need to be assertive. Assholeism. And who are they paying attention to? If you're not talking to this person, they're playing footsie with somebody else. They give up. And you see them this way? Mm -mm -mm. I don't want any responsibility. I'm a large child. I like Toys R Us. All right, Gemini Libra Queers. I have a gift of love for you. I feel like we would work well together. Interesting. Mm. So they're kind of going back and forth in their mind, weighing out the pros and cons. All right. Uh, now, we can, now we can deal with, unless it gets. No, 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 no. Blockage. Oh, that ain't good. This person really single? I don't think so. The blockage, is this person really single? Or are they in love with somebody else? They might be by themselves, but there's a feeling of fulfillment elsewhere. What do they want from my Aquarius? All right, I don't know. This is almost like a secret crush or a hidden crush or a work crush or something that could be uh, flirting at work. Something ain't quite so, you know, mm -mm, not kosher here. Because if they want to keep things on the sly, you know, work is work. And, and they, but I'm going to stay dedicated to somebody else, possibly. I don't like it. It'll clarify. Clarify that high priestess. Yeah, I just feel like this person wants to keep you on the... Oh, oh, oh look at that. Outside of the house. Because otherwise they're going to be asking somebody for forgiveness. Uh, I don't like it. How will this make you feel? Hurt. And like they let you down. No. Keep, stay away from the fucking flirty people at work. Because this person's got secrets. This is somebody that would be playing games with you. And this is somebody that, you know, I feel like we can, I can have my cake and eat it too. No, they don't get to have their cake and eat it too. No, let them hang there. Snip, snip, arts and crafts time. Bottom of the deck, no, you have strength. Hold back. Be smart. This person, I feel like you need to just cut them right on out and tell them to suck an egg. Because it's like, uh, be honest with yourself. Be judgy toward that person. Right. Cancer, Scorpio, and Pisces. Hangman. All right. They feel like the two of you might be right together. It would please me if the two of us could be together. Are you just familiar with this person? Is this new, reversed? No. It is new. Oh, and it's the fool. All right, give me one more for the hangman. There's the mega bitch. So this person might feel like it's hard to get close to you 
Actually, you are interested. You got the Page of Cups. It's like, you know, reach out and play some flirty flirty. It's almost like you feel like this person's a little bit on the uh, bachelor, bachelorette. I kind of keep to myself. They could be a little bit older than you, but they can also be on the shy and quiet side. And it's like, are you interested or not? Because I kind of have a little crush on you. But, it, you know, if you're not interested, then um, I don't know. I don't know what. They want to reach out. And okay, and they they're like, okay, you got resting bitch face. I have resting bitch face as well. Okay, let's see what you think of them. How does Aquarius see this person? Ooh, magical. You like that? With the potential of love, and then you got starstruck. Now I like this a hell of a lot better than I like the other shit, because this would say it has some promise. So, who's putting the moves on first? This, I mean, this person's definitely have positive, they can't stop thinking about you. This can be somebody that you had dated a long time ago, but they're comfortable with you. They're basically like, I'm hoping you feel the same way about me. And, you know, I, I'm being serious. Take, you know, I'm being realistic here. Uh, but in their mind, they feel like you're kind of holding back. You're not 100% sure, but looks pretty good to me. I'm yearning, burning. Um, I'm available emotionally, and let's let's get going here. I have the willpower. I want this new beginning. I'm very concentrated. You know, I can't stop thinking about you. I'm concentrated on the one. This looks nice. Keep in mind, it can be an ex coming back around, but either way, this would be healing the connection if it were, and still having feelings. And this is making progress, making it happen, being taken seriously. We like that. All right. Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. How in the hell did the page get reversed? Why the page reversed? How in the hell? Are you not seeing? Okay. This person, it's almost like in their mind, there could be a depression issue going on with this person. They might feel like you would let them down or that you're not emotionally going to be interested in them. They feel like you've already made up your mind and released them but they want to come back around they're stuck in the past and their action uh, i don't know bad planning not taking any action not taking any action because they just feel like they'd be making a fool out of themselves they feel like you just don't have any interest or that you have friend zoned this person how do you see them how do you see them no Okay. I mean, it is somebody that you see um, as reliable and efficient. It can be just somebody that you work with. But you might feel like, one, they're a hard worker, but it's just not somebody that's going to float your boat or that they're not emotionally stable. No, I just don't feel like you... No. I mean, that's basically going, I don't want to end up getting hurt by you, or I just feel like you you got codependent issues. I, I don't need it. But you're not interested you're not interested. Not at all. I don't need needy shit. And it does look like you have your eyes set on somebody else. And I say that because you got the Empress at the bottom of the deck. There's something else that I want to nurture and move forward with. I want success with a Libra or a Taurus possibly. But this person's basically like, you don't even see me. No, I see you. I just don't want to look. I, you're just not interested. And if this is the, I'm coming back. No, you're stuck in the past. And I've already told you no. How many times do I need to tell you no? I see you for who you are. That's great. That's fine. But I, I'm done. No, you're not interested. But you're breaking my... I do not know how that card got flipped. I do not know how that card got flipped. But it obviously is a clear message of, I'm not interested. Take your inner child and go. And, you know, you're so disappointed. You're not interested. No, I'm not. And they're all depressed by it. And also can be somebody that's on the conceited side. That is almost like, how can you not be interested in, like, me? Seriously? No, we're not. Go away. All right. So we have Aquarius. Your own energy in here. Pisces, Cancer. Pisces, Cancer, very heavily. Capricorn. Aries, Leo, all right, and then again, heavy Pisces and Cancer, so be careful what you wish for, because if you're pulling somebody back, incidentally, 
it's going to make you feel guarded. All right, I'm going to stop the nag. I've been nagging everybody since Libra. All right, now we go. Pisces, how you bees? I'll tell you how you bees. This is the Monopoly deck for those that would like to know. All right, so you guys have some. It's been rough since Libra. I'm not quite sure what the is going on here, but this is looking like you need to be more assertive. There's some red flags that you could be a bit stubborn about. Are you seeing things clearly? Because the high priestess reversed is like, I don't want to deal with the confrontation. I I know the truth, but I'm trying to, are you making excuses for somebody? Are there red flags you're ignoring? Are you holding or hiding feelings or withdrawing? You know, it's, it's just as possibly somebody has a hidden agenda. And this should be assertive energy, and this is kind of acting more like a candy ass. I hate to say that. Also Aries energy. But the Two of Swords is basically being at a stalemate, taking a time out, waiting for answers that might not be available, blind to the truth, feeling like you're weighing the options or avoiding making a hard choice. It's like, I don't, I don't want to do this. It's time to make a choice. Didn't see something coming, possibly that somebody had screwed around. We don't like that shit. But at the bottom of the deck, I have for you the world changes and overdue changes. The world is like, I complete one cycle and happy endings and happy trails to the people that have pissed me off. And now I have the freedom to be whole and go a different direction and be successful. That, that, that's all, folks. Okay, successful. Oh my God, spit it out already. But I don't want any drama. Don't put me in any drama. I will I will spork you. I will throat punch you. Healing is needed here with your energy. All right, so let's see what we get. Source, if they are dealing with an Aries, a Leo, or a Sag. Four of Wands reverse. So this person is not thinking about commitment. However, they could have recently just had a breakup. This is somebody that's, okay, I mean, they want to reach out and see if there's an emotional attachment with you. However, the Queen of Cups is usually a little bit more passive. Clarify the action. No, this is definitely somebody that wants to reach out and grab you. So, I have feelings this could go somewhere. Are you are you interested in taking my cup? There is some red flag though. Why the four of wands reversed? Okay. Clarify the blockage. This person has other responsibilities and they don't want to lead you on, but there's this still this feeling that I have responsibilities, possibly kids, and that they have to be open and upfront with you. That's not something you know, just getting to, you know, getting to learn about somebody that could have actually physically moved recently, but this is definitely somebody that there could be responsibilities as far as kids and they don't want, they don't want to lead you on. So how do you see this person? All right, you're kind of on the fence about it. You will be taken seriously. You got the King of Swords at the bottom of the deck. So it's like, I'm not emotionally getting involved here unless this goes up. It's like, I, I'll be patient. I'll wait. Okay, you brought it up. I would like to see where this could go possibly, but I'm being realistic. So it depends on, you know, how things kind of go forward. But this person is trying to put the best foot forward first. Because they want emotions. It feels like they didn't have necessarily emotions in their last connection, but they just had a breakup. All right. Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. Queen of Wands reversed. Well then. Ten of Pentacles. Hey, buddy. Oh, boy. This person's a liar. They're full of shit. They're looking for fun and games, and in their mind, you're the toy. Uh-huh. How do they feel? Ten of Pentacles. Why the Ten of Pentacles? Uh, this person's in a connection that they're irritated with, so they they want to play. Uh -huh. And the problem is they're not emotionally available and they're full of shit. Run the fuck away. Be the one that got away. Be the one that doesn't even give them the time of day. No. This is a user, emotionally abuser, and they're looking for a piece of you-know-what tail. Sex. K 
Okay, I said it. All right, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces. There's that freaking tower. You guys definitely have somebody in here that needs to be more upfront. Are they starting over? Are they open to a new connection? Because that's, boom, I had an ending. However, I, I like the moon reversed here. It's like, I, I'm not giving you any secrets. I definitely have an interest in you. Bottom of the deck, it does look like you're going, ooh, Mufasa, because you have the lovers. Now it's like, I feel like we could have something in, uh, in a mutual interest. And I'm looking for romance and a deep bond. But I have to think about this. This would be the uh, meet a new lover. But this does seem, are they over their ex reversed? Yes. Okay. Yes, they are. They have to be honest about it, though. I'm just feeling like you're getting the tail end of somebody having a breakup with a connection that just is been done, and they want, look at that. Honesty, truth, clarity, a breakthrough, establishing your boundaries and having confidence to do so, a meeting of the minds and going for it. How's this move forward? Night of Ka, okay. Dating. And very nice. So we like that. We like that a lot. So I, I do feel like, um, let's see what we got for you. Somebody that you might go back and forth about because you, you don't want to be juggled. You're like, if you're not over your ex, I'm not dealing with this shit. But this does look like somebody that wants to be emotionally open and available, take you out, show you off, give you the attention that you deserve. They sexually can't wait to like play hippity hop. And I would say with the moon reversed here, they're trying to be transparent. They're trying to like, okay, we're not in the dark here. We're adults. Let's let's see where this could go. I got the sexy hotties for you. There's chemistry here. I feel very confident. And they would make you feel confident. So uh, we like that. We like that. A little golf clap there. All right. Taurus, Virgo, and Cap uh, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. I almost said Cap, you that's, but... Okay, again with the I'm healing shit. I'm looking for a lover who won't drive me crazy. You might make me happy. I would like to take you out for some drinky treats. Hmm. This person might be financially well off, but they want to take you out. All right, the blockage. Okay, they might make you feel a little bit restless. This, however, feels like it's more you going, maybe. I'm used to having red flags here. There aren't any red flags to find. This person's still healing. They they feel an attraction to you, like you're the uh, Adonis or the, the goddess, because this is somebody that's like, you're, you're gorgeous, you're hot. You're definitely what I'm looking for. This is like having all four queens. And I don't care if you're a dude or not. doesn't matter. But you got it all going on as far as this person's concerned. And they would be happy to wine and dine you. But there's a feeling of, oh, it makes me feel kind of restless. But I'm, I'm kind of ready to date your feelings. 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 A little guarded. However, ooh. Look who came out with it. Ooh, 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 ooh. I'll give this a shot. If this person has re reciprocated feelings, then this would have a nice foundation. So it does seem like this, and this person could be in their mind going, okay, I know you're still healing, but man, me wanna you. You got some very nice, I'm sorry about the music. I, I barely even hear Noah's stuff anymore. <laughs> ah, he's giving me the hint as he sits on the bed. You guys have some nice, decent over energy. Just watch for red flags and don't deal with stalemates. Don't deal with somebody that you're crossing your arms and going, you know, giving them the middle finger. And it's like, you need to go the hell away because I need to be more assertive. And they're, you know, don't be a, don't be a candy ass. Don't do it. All right. So we have Aries, Leo, Cancer. You got some nice take the chance energy in there. Libra, Taurus. What are you laughing about? Scorpio, Pisces. Pisces, Cancer, Taurus, Leo, Scorpio, Aquarius. All right. We are going to timestamp here to uh, give an update about dad. Okay. During this video, I was jesting quite a bit about my father while I was down here playing cards. He um, had cut his tongue. He had a laceration, not a very big one, but he's on anticoagulants. So we had to take his cute little butt. Molly doesn't have much butt. 
he ain't got no back. So we, we had to take him into the emergency room. Uh, yeah, so lack of sleep. And this is why your video is late, so my apologies. But um, dad's still uh, anemic, which we already knew. I mean, with the, the, the cancer issue and still finding out where everything is and, and what's going on. We only have so much information. And on the 26th, we have a CT scan that's hopefully going to give us some more information. So we're looking forward to kind of that. Um, he lost a lot of blood with this. T I mean, it, I, I don't want to get disgusting on you guys, but there it was kind of like a crime scene. Um, so I missed some of that because I was in here playing cards. Talk about a guilt trip. Oh, my God. Uh, not from him, for, from myself, okay? But he, he is very, very tired. Um, his blood levels for his hematocrit and red blood cells will keep it basic. Otherwise, I'm going to go way nursey on you here. But um, his levels are borderline needing a transfusion and that was at the time that we had taken him in there before he had lost more blood so i would imagine that so i'm upping his um because i'm a freaking nurse and i can i'm upping his iron to twice a day uh for at least two weeks and then we will kind of reconvene with another blood test because i'm a bitch when i have to be and i will have that ordered god dang it pays to be a nurse sometimes i gotta tell you but he's he's holding in there. He's falling asleep wherever the hell he is. But so I'm keeping a little bit closer eye on him, and I uh, prefer he use the wheeled walker. But um, he's okay-ish for now. Okay, so we're gonna pause here because I do have a request from somebody that wanted a reading. So we're gonna do that at the tail end of the video. Thank you guys so much for understanding. This is why your video is late, and I do apologize that it is late. It was supposed to be up. Um, well, it might be up yet tonight. I'm hoping to, I will put up a post so that you're aware of it. And this will be like old news by the time you see this. But I do appreciate you guys comment about dad and, you know, white devil man. Yeah, I might say that, but you know, I do love him dearly, even though he can drive me insane. Um, all right, that's enough. I just want to let you guys know that you're appreciated. So we're going to pause here and get to the personal question that we have from a, well, not a member, but you know, a suburb. So yeah, that. Okay, so this is a small mini read about a cancer that's in separation from a Pisces. So Krabby Patty with a cupcake. So source, please give me the overall energy between these two people. All right. Wheel of Fortune and Two of Pentacles. All right. So your overall energy is telling me that a decision needs to be made, but both of you kind of feel like there's a what to do okay now this can be a connection that's been on and then it's off and then it's back and then it's forth and very very wearing very very tiresome not always knowing what the hell what what the hell to do it's like you may feel like i'm busy it's hard to make a decision when i got so much on my plate but with the wheel of fortune it's like you need to there, there needs to be changes it's like an end of one thing and beginning it's a turning point and both of you need to make make a decision what direction you're going to go. So that person, Pisces energy, that person, okay. Thoughts, feelings, action. Okay, well, they're not doing much for action. They're having a hard time. This person might be depressed and not being honest with you. I will say that. In their mind, they're trying to do what they think is right. Um, how they feel is the two of swords reverse. So this person might feel like the two of you have kind of bat, batted heads enough and they're kind of feeling torn. What do I do now? The choice has been made. I kind of regret it. Now it's time to do something. You know, am I, am I in, a, in a deadline? It, there, it, has there been a deadline set? There's a feeling of um, guardedness and trying to consider a, a past regret more for feelings six of cups okay they i mean they do miss you they do want to try to to work things out with you but their actions not saying they're doing much okay so the blockage is the hair bond and the four of cups so when we take the blockage we flip it like i had mentioned before so this could have been somebody that doesn't have the same thing in mind as far as commitment this could have been somebody that was judgmental or commitment phobe or misled you wanted their freedom felt confined um there's like a lack of faith uh possibly 
being unethical and going their own direction because there could have been the feeling of boredom hate to say it but boredom's boredom and it's like that's not cool and it's not fair but when the four of cups is reversed it's like i i do this and yet i've got regrets about it mm Hmm. this person like i said they could have been bored they could have been thinking i wasn't satisfied which made you feel bitter and like you, they weren't into you or vice versa but there's like a I have some regret. I'm waking up. I'm realizing what I did. I neglected you. Um, possibly wanting to reach out to you after a period of some isolation where the two of you haven't been talking. Like they realize that there needs to be a change. So let's see what we have for my Cancer's energy. All right. You have the Four of Wands. You want to be taken seriously or you're going to walk. So, at the bottom of the deck, you have the High Priestess. This is your energy. This is kind of going, I am kind of keeping to myself, trying to figure things out, not dealing with the secrets and bullshit anymore, trying to figure things out. But it's like you're kind of being aloof. Why the Four of Wands? For thoughts. Okay. Why the feelings of the King of Swords? Again, the feeling of I'm waiting, I'm waiting, and I'm getting kind of pissed off about waiting, and if something doesn't happen soon, I'm going to fucking bail. And it does seem like you took it very seriously, this connection, very seriously, and you're you're kind of like, uh, you're coming to me, because the King of Swords and the Queen of Swords, they don't have to get off the damn throne. You'll take me seriously, I'll hear you out, but I'm going to be very direct. So like the outcome. Ten of Pentacles. You're going to be back on again. So one or the other is going to reach out. Definitely reach out. It's just a matter of time. The bottom of the deck, now you have judgment. So it's something that you have to think about. Take your time. Don't just jump in. Be realistic. There needs to be improvements and changes made. Forgiveness needs to happen, which means you need to start from ground zero for a new beginning. Both need to take accountability for their actions. But it, it's basically, it's time to speak up and be the type of person that can compromise, not hold any grudges. Because the grudges are so there on your side, I'm sorry. And your energy again, it's like, I've been disappointed by you before, so now I'm leery. Now, not that you got the pouty lip out or anything, but it's like, I've been disappointed. I've been through, this is not my first rodeo. But it does look like there is a change coming. This two here of going back and forth needs to stop. This person over here, yes, they miss you, have some regrets, possibly cheated, could have been there too. But they have they have definite regrets and they've they've they do see how they've neglected you and things didn't go the right way and they're having a hard time with their emotions right now. So this does look like it's going to turn around, but the work has to be put into it. And because this is manifesting this person back, there, there's just, boom, there it is. And it can be that you don't think that you're doing it, but you're doing it. Trying to be practical. I'm just going to take care of my money. But if you're thinking about that person, whether you want them back or not, and you're pissed off and ready to, you know, throat punch the bitch or whatever, it doesn't mean that you don't have feelings deep down. That's stableness. That's like... I want to be comfortable in my own skin around this person, but it does look like this, this hair font needs to flip. This person needs to take you more seriously, needs to be more committed, needs to have things in common with you about your norms and values and has faith to keep things up so that you don't have to wonder where they've been or wh whatever the case may be. It's like they need to learn how to fucking behave. Follow the damn rules, but you are pulling them back in. So if that's, you know, you want to walk away if, because that's the, I want more than what I've been offered and I'm not getting it, but I need it. It's like you're restless and just itching for that change. But at the same time, it's like you're kind of in limbo waiting. So you're pulling them back in. You are, you are, you are. And I would say that they are thinking about coming in and doing the right thing because this would be, Facing the consequences. 
you know, the karma stick might have slapped them upside the head and you're not aware of it yet, but it does look like there is going to be a big change and less of this back and forth shit that's been going on in, in this connection. Pivotal point, but this other person needs to do the same thing that you do, and that is clean slate on both sides. Because if you can't do it, tell them no. If they can't do it, tell them no. All right, I'm going to stop nagging now. But that is what I have for you. I will put your your name in the timestamp so that you hopefully um, get the message. Um, yeah, that's what we have for you. All right, thanks for watching. Many blessings and hope to see you again.